Oh, we man. survived the Twitch settings update, and we are live Yay! here on Myth Brigade. It's been forever. Uh, Timing is everything. Yes. Uh, today is November 24th, and I just wanted to make one uh, announcement. We have tipped over the 1,000 uh, subscriber mark, which is really awesome. Uh, I attribute that to Byron, Woo! top corner there. Woo! It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, yeah, thank you guys for, uh, guys and girls really, for supporting the channel and everything we're doing here. Um, we've taken a, a weird hiatus with COVID coming back and the holidays and stuff, but here we are. And uh, I'm excited for one, to just be sitting here to get, you know, terrified by Byron. So there, that's your cue, man. Let's, you wanna, you wanna well, take hopefully, us Well, hopefully that's exactly what's gonna happen, man. We're gonna go for, Full on action cinematics today, so it should be an exciting episode of uh, you guys hunting stuff down. Unlike our last episode, that was you know off the books, but it was uh, kind of crazy and a lot of staring at the book and stuff like that. But a fabulous time! So, welcome all Myth Brigadiers to this. Uh, I wanted to do like Good Morning Vietnam, like Robin Williams, but then I figured it would just be bad. You could say um, Dracula so, instead of Vietnam. Good yeah, morning, good Dracula. morning. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, thanks uh, to all, like uh, Jason said, thanks to all of those that are watching and uh, hanging out with us as we do these uh, massive amounts of new programming. And uh, you should see all the stuff we don't get done. Yeah, you know, there is like a lot of stuff that. we do get done. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, it, the road is paved with good intentions, but boy, we're driving on the road too. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming on. Uh, watch for more office hours yes. coming soon. Uh, possibly a fancy ass cult campaign. Um, of course, Deadlands. I know Dobbs is uh, working hard on trying to learn how to spell. That's so Monday. So that he can put out some more poetry. Yep. And, of course, there, I heard there was some superhero stuff in the works somewhere. There is. Uh, just like the boys, only more... Um, depraved. depraved. More depraved, which yes. if, if you see oh. the boys, I'm not really sure if that can be accomplished. Uh, but, <laughs> anyhow... There will, be, um, there will be a slight bit less masturbating on the top of buildings. There will be less only, of that. Only a little less? There will be less. A little less. A, little, a couple of few, few receipts. Yeah. Any yeah. reduction is a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe he'll, he'll be masturbating, but his penis won't just be. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll be on top of like a, a sizzler instead of a high rise. A, sizzler, <laughs> a, a fucking Waffle House somewhere. <laughs> so appropriate. It's been closed yeah. because of COVID. Yeah. Good. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're excited for this uh, Thanksgiving episode. And, uh, you know, um, so, you know, things to be thankful for this time of year. How about our gamer friends? And, you know, if COVID has done anything, uh, it has exposed us to wonderful online gaming and opportunities that maybe we didn't have before. And I know uh, we have some close friends on, you know, Symphony Entertainment, Social Distance, and of course, Myth Brigade and uh, a whole bunch of different places. Yeah. Good job, Tara, rocking the, rocking the colors over there. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are coming out of there with some published works, man. There's a lot of cool stuff on the Miskatonic uh, repository. And, uh, you know, shout out to my friend Jared Smith, who uh, Bayat uh, Al Zaif, uh, his third episode of that is out, Cthulhu Magazine. You can find that on Drive to RPG. Um, and so hopefully we'll be doing an episode of Office Hours coming up in uh, a month or so with uh, Jared Smith and uh, Bridget Jeffries and some other things in the works. So, but let's get down to business with uh, some stuff here with Night Splash <laughs> Agents and we'll kind of go around the horn. And so Dan Kaplan, how the hell are you today? I'm doing great, Byron. I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not as busy as Jason, but uh, I'm getting ready for Black Friday. Got a, a sale coming up here in a couple of days and that's usually for us a crazy day. So basically, I've been talking to my business partner like just nonstop. He's got four kids, and he's put them on warning. Like basically, he's locked himself in a small room. He's like, "Daddy's working." Did you, you just lock the kids in a small room? No, 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 no. Yeah, just that, himself. Don't get oh, okay. involved. So sorry. Parenting was so different when I was there. That's right, um, Tyler. Were you locked in a small room? Uh, that's why I'm so socially fucked up. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I tell you, uh, Tyler was actually locked in a large room, but it was, it was obviously. Locked. I, I heard it was a closet. But... 
It's so all good. Dan, so Dan, what crazy kind of, business get for Turkey Day and Black Friday? And of course, gotta, that was the Game Steward, right? That's right. Oh yeah, the yeah. Game Steward. Yeah. Ooh, the Game Steward. You got to play. It. So are you guys running any special promotions? Dan, are you well, we, stuck we're for having Black a Friday? Black Friday sale. So if you like Kickstarter board games, um, come to our site, and uh, hopefully everything won't sell out in the first 15 minutes. We start at midnight after Thanksgiving, midnight on Friday every year with a clock down, a countdown clock going. So Dan promises to not be as bad as the Gen Con ticket sales. <laughs> <laughs> But that's it. That's, that's, that's where he that's where he's <laughs> setting the Marlow. <laughs> Marlo. First come, first serve. We literally we'll do like a month's worth of business within the first like twenty four hours usually. So that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It, what's nerve wracking is just making sure everything is right before we start, right? Because any mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Like don't oh, list things at the wrong price. They fat fingered the pricing, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> So that's my life right now. Why oh, is that game a dollar ninety nine? I was saying, this is the board game is a dollar ninety nine. Like, oh, they never I love it. They, they, why is that board game one ninety nine? If it's a dollar ninety nine, they just buy it and then say, "Oh, was that a mistake?" No, 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 no. If you, well, I'll tell you what. If you find it on our site and you can buy it for a dollar, it's yours. Uh, you heard it here first. But anyway, nice. so that's that's my life. You don't want to hear any more about it. It's boring. All and, right. And then hack into a system. No I'm kidding. Yes. Uh, that's Dracula. Mr. Tyler Wingate, Mr. Tyler Wingate, the turkey man. The tur- yeah, I'm, uh, I'm doing great. Work's been kicking my butt the past week. It's been fun. Yeah. Ready to get some game on. How many thousands of pounds of turkeys do you guys have? Um, a lot. A lot? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the past week, I've dealt with at least 12,000 pounds of potatoes. I bet oh, enough, nice. in, enough that if Dracula potatoes. ate them, he would probably hibernate for a long time. Uh. <laughs> that's how my Dracula body went. wants to hibernate that's after moving them. <laughs> that's how Dracula went to Torpor. Tesla, write to that Torpor. down. We need a turkey cannon uh, to fight. <laughs> turkey <laughs> cannon. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to give Dracula the itis. <laughs> so, Dracula apparently is susceptible to tryptophan. So, hey. Tryptophan. Yeah, there you go. I, yeah. bet, I bet that uh, Dr. Terry Mitchell could make some tryptophan darts. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah. well, well, we just get a guy pump him full of tryptophan and MSG, and, and just, like, just toss and him just at, at Dracula. Him to Dracula. He creates some sort of fucked up super soldier on accident, right? <laughs> Wait, maybe Is that Captain a America? Scaly lizard guy happened. Look at the way. Look at the drumsticks. Look at the drumsticks on that guy. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, uh, Terry Mitchell. Tara, Roy, how the hell are you? Uh, exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> the less said, the better. I understand. Yeah. I understand completely. Well, hopefully we can get some cool stuff to put on the board today. Yeah. Um, like, you know, and not some more like uh, rest in peace things with the character. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It, it can happen. Too, so. I'm just saying. It, it's, uh. it's possible. We may have to do a memorial session after today. He um, seems really fixated on killing us today. Ooh, I don't know. No, I'm really not. I, I'm just, it's scary. Uh, <laughs> ooh, it's scary. Uh-oh. In your head, huh? It's scary in your head. It is. It is, it is scary yeah. in my head. How do you know that, Tara? <laughs> I know it's scary in Byron's head. Okay. I've known him long enough. Brent Adams, Tesla, how the hell are you? Um, I, I am fantastic. In fact, um, if, uh, I'm going to be starting a new job um, in December, so what? that's awesome. What? I, I'm going to be sleeping in therapy again. So, so that's said it. going into therapy? Um, I'm going to be slinging it. So in other slinging words, slinging therapy. I'll be providing it for whomever actually wants to talk to me. Um, so that, <laughs> so that'd be about fantastic. It'll be online too. So after he oh, kills our characters, therapy. all of us will want to talk to you and be like, Brandon, yeah. <laughs> can I record the sessions? I'm really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you'll just practice. Um, I, I, we, we've successfully finished uh, two campaigns with my personal groups, which is awesome. We finished the game of Thrones campaign. And uh, re- recently are about to finish a mutants and masterminds campaign. Oh, hell so it's yeah. Yeah. And campaigns and be like, we're all talking about what we're going to do next and, and everything. So it's fun to like see the culmination of some campaigns and 
So it's been like a pretty high point for the last two weeks for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, and don't forget that don't forget the city you guys were in was swallowed by uh Chaos Portal and Bogenhoff and no longer exists. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> but that's not the one of the campaigns that were even close to being done. Yeah. I mean, oh, no, we're literally just <laughs> starting that. And you guys encountered a lord of, a lord a, a full on lord of change that was raining pink and blue horrors as you guys escaped on the barge. What a beautiful yeah, way it, to it, die. It was. <laughs> what? Was it a gender it reveal pretty... party? <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of. No, the, no, there was no forest fire. <laughs> gender reveal. No, there was no forest sense. fire. It was not a gender reveal. It, it, it was like imagine if, if David Bowie, in his prime, was a demon. <laughs> and that's basically that's what bad. happened. So, yeah, Are you saying amazing. David Bowie was not a demon? Yeah. It's not, it's not a big no, stretch. No, not in his prime, Dan. It was, it was and later. After that, <laughs> yes. <but. laughs> <Right. laughs> Whatever you do, don't shake the baby, though. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, and Mr. Jason Jones. Oh, hey, dude. Um, I'm not going to talk about anything personal. I'm trying to run away from it. I am recording I a record. Not, I'm not asking you to. Uh, and I'm. Th this is a dark process, right? Like you, uh, late nights and um, lots of frustration, but most of the guitars are done. So we're going to have a, a perfectly terrible record <laughs> by February. You guys just got to play live, didn't you? Yeah, it was really Saturday? weird. Yeah. It was really weird. There were a lot of people there without masks. And for some reason, I'm up on stage just thinking of them all just like spitting at me or something. But um, oh my God. I don't know. It was fine. Uh, yeah, it was really, really good to be out and, and sort of be normal. But uh, so that's why I sound the way I do, because I shredded my voice screaming. But I'm just happy to be playing with you guys. So that's all. Awesome. Well, awesome. I am happy. Let's get to down to business. Let's right? fucking Dang. do it. Also, I need to Let's find some do scary, it! scary music. So... Coming soon, we have uh, several uh, episode names uh, already just in our <laughs> pre-prep uh, time. So uh, look and see what it is when it goes up. All right. So I guess, you know, Mr. Kaplan, uh, you know, Johnny Walcott was mentioning that uh, you guys need some refreshes of pools because you guys got in some firefights and some oh, that's true. that went down. And so we need to go ahead and refresh pools for today. Good call. Um, from your last session. So, uh, you know, with all the hard work you guys put in the planning session and the fact that Byron didn't record the video and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. You did. It was I think I'm just going to go ahead that. and uh, <laughs> Count Hacula will get in here and he will give you all of your points back. Nice. Oh, really? What? Yeah. what? Thank you. You guys can refresh. It's like Christmas. Thanks, okay. Christmas in November. That way I have absolutely no excuse <laughs> if it's a TPK. I, I was getting real nervous I wasn't going to get to blow anything up because I'd been really what? digging deep into that demolition stuff. How has that been a problem for you ever, though? I mean, like, <laughs> you haven't blown anything up so far? I was what? thinking about this the other day, Brent. Is like, what is it like to go to the supermarket with Tesla, right? It's just like, <laughs> oh, shit blowing up everywhere. <laughs> It's like I can turn that into a pipe bomb. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we fucking know Tesla. This lemonade container, pipe bomb. Yeah. Cucumber <laughs> lemonade container, pipe bomb. With some kale chips in there, because those shits you can't. Cucumber shoot. Gatorade, they have that. It's, crazy. it's like I remember this time there was this vegan guy <laughs> that we really needed to take out back when I was working for the NS. <laughs> you what Tesla can do with nutritional yeast. Gross. <laughs> Talk about an infection. Okay, moving on. Um, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> All right. That was perfect. That was perfect. Is there a game here? I don't know. <laughs> so you guys were basically going through the dossier and putting together information that you guys could find um, that would link to um, the... Uh, Edom files and um, the North Sea. Um, you guys were looking at a variety of different things and angles and so forth. Uh, and the team had basically said that you were going to go to the um, library in mm -hmm. London, check that out, try to find a copy of Le Dragon Noir, mm -hmm. and then also. Um, try to find out any more information about the prosper pine or the british navy any naval records any of mm -hmm. that situation was the things that you were looking for and then the archives 
We also have that codex we were we were going to look for because there yeah. was referenced a, a, a an ancient philosopher. Correct. That yeah, so there there was some, that too. Correct. So your trip to the library is uh, pretty fruitless. Like mm. you actually cannot find any reference to either book existing. Not at all. No method. None at all. No, uh, you guys even try to bust out the old Dewey Decimal System and you go down in the basement to the archives and you're looking for stuff with the card catalog that had been moved. They still had it. It was just moved to the basement in like a uh, like a museum style of old library stuff. And, um, and you still could not find any mention of either of it. Um, so much so that you really feel like any record of it was scrubbed. Wow. So, um, so there's literally even even in the archives. We know this is this book is a thing, right? So, yeah. No record of it. Well, there's mention of it in the Dracula dossier. No, no. I mean, um, they, whether they whether it exists or not. Okay. But yeah, um, no record that it exists. But it literally, it, it doesn't look like there's no record of it. You know, you could even find. You would expect to find like a computer search history, like that people had looked for it or that, you know, other people had done anything for it. There's just nothing. It literally looks like somebody scrubbed all computer trace of those existence for things. So Evan's probably going a little nuts with the whole conspiracy part of it because of the fact that there's no information whatsoever. Yeah, and it's tough because he, he's sort of trying to pretend that he's on top of things and he's taking in little bits and pieces of what they say and, uh, and trying to react to it. But I, I mean, London is one of my places for urban survival and like knowing London really well. Are there any, can I use that to figure out like a really obscure book dealer or do I feel like this is just a lost cause? You feel like this is probably a lost cause okay. from this, from this standpoint. Okay. In terms of the game, would you, is it, up to us to try and overturn like new angles or when you say it like this basically does that mean like there's no skill involved that would be like how much interpretation do we do in this particular yeah game? so a spend on anything wouldn't come up but the the issue that you have is so in the in the gumshoe game system that falls under categories that you automatically get the clue if there is one mm -hmm. and there literally is nothing so your clue is you do get the clue the clue is that there's it no, looks it like it's erased. scrubbed. Okay. You know what I mean? So the information is missing, at least when it comes to that Codex or Le Dragon Noir or any archive records of the British ship. Is there any no. way to, no to sort out, um, I don't know, through, through sort of hacking and finding logs and systems, you know, log things when deletes happen or whatever, to determine... Um, if that was done recently or if it was some yeah, time ago. Was mm -hmm. Smart. Um, no, there's no way to determine if it was recent or not because you don't have a reference point. Yeah. Um, right. You know what I mean? Like you'd have to find a shred of existence in order to find Fair. out when it Yeah, so they were, they were, they were like, yeah, okay. So they, they yeah. were This was This covered. was a professional. Okay. Whoever did this is literally like high-end computer expert or has access to like MI6, CIA, you know, national security, uh, NSA, that style of um, outfit to be able to, to do what has happened here. Um, you guys did put that tracker on the helicopter, Red Lily and put the tracker on the helicopter and you know that it went to the North Sea and um, it's still live. The tracker's still live. Wow, um, and it is basically showing that that helicopter has not moved from the position that it went to, or at least the beacon isn't moving. <laughs> yeah, they found it, or they not at all. It and has it, not moved at all. It flew, it stopped, and it's stayed there. So they're on. It has not. It has not left that spot. They're anchored. Can you find historical data for those coordinates and see if there's an island there? Then it should still be there. If anything's blocking it right now, it might be completely obfuscated, right, from satellites. But there's probably something there from 10 years ago. Yep. Uh, I'll take a look. I'll see what I can find. How long has it been? Sorry? How long has it been? 
it's really only been since since this has happened and you guys like looked at the dossier and stuff like that. I would say you guys probably took a good 24 hours to 48 hours of digging through the dossier, comparing notes, mm-hmm. uh, getting caught up. It's kind of like debriefing your guys' selves, relaxing, getting uh, you know your points back, all that stuff. Um, we'll say 48 hours. Which is ironically um, about the amount of time that I'm missing, really. Is that yeah. time? Yeah, yeah something that. like that. Mm. You're really only missing like 13 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> <Two-day calendar. laughs> yeah. Um, Amazing. Not even to mention the microfiche. It's, who could have done that? That's just, I've never seen a scrub like this before. Yeah, you have. Have I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like uh, even the microfiche collections have been cleaned out. <laughs> So, so uh, uh, Byron, I'm going to be real practical about this, as we kind of talked about a little bit earlier. So it, um, it, I believe I'm going to make some of those magnesium, like UV, heavy UV flares I wanted to. Um, I'm going to try to do some garlic bear mace stuff, yes. like mix it together and, you know, pre- pressurize it. Um, it, it going to go old school, get some steaks. Um, I don't even know. Do we guys, we want to do silver bullets, like, I mean, honestly, if Red Lily has a weapon that has silver on it, do we do we need to worry about getting like silver bullets or trying to? I, I don't think so. Well, I had a question about that, Tesla. What's the wood that we read that will hurt the vampire? Rowan, like, Rowan wood. Yeah, we believe that according to Cushing's, I think it was, uh, in the in the vampire uh, in the Dracula dossier, that he referenced that Rowan specifically may impair vampires in some way we're not sure if you have to stab it through their heart what if you were to take rowan wood and grind it up and mix it with a military grade epoxy and make bullets out of that hmm. is a, I, like, I like the way you're thinking let's do it all right um scientifically speaking however then the rowan would be coated in epoxy that's true <laughs> But if, but but if it hit a hardened target, the the shards could be embedded in, inside yeah, the of the resin. Body. The resin no, would but, break and it, embed itself in the right. Resin. But if you've got an, <laughs> if you've got an allergy to something, right? Unless it's enough, it's not going to tip you over that like anaphylaxis kind of you know threshold. So, right? so if, what, if true. We, what if we did something like a hollow point? Exactly. Exactly. Good thing <laughs> it would be directly so something something that would explode on. On it would probably be much, much easier to just get wooden stakes right. than to take the time to craft uh, wooden so bullets. Darts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, who, who uses darts? I mean, I wasn't trained. I wasn't trained to shoot blow guns at people. I was. Oh, I, 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 I was trained to shoot them. If you, if you make them balanced, I can throw them. <laughs> I can throw the stakes. Yeah, but you're you're you're, you're like barely human, Lily. <laughs> I mean, I mean wrong. this way. Thank you. I also offer that if, if what we need to do is surprise Dracula, he'll be suspecting stakes, but Rowan Wood hollow point bullets, 60 of them out of a high caliber machine gun, that might slow him down long enough for us to escape if necessary. I like it. It's got a valid angle there. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> something he won't be ready for. And He'll be ready. Un- he won't be ready for it one time. <laughs> one time. <laughs> one one trick pony. Fucking him up real good. <laughs> one yeah. trick pony. But, and we have found out that normal bullets probably aren't going to do shit to him anyway. So what's the difference? We shoot a whole bunch of Rowan bullets that don't do shit. We shoot normal bullets that don't do shit. We might as well experiment. All right, what I can do this. Silver, silver Rowan. Silver hollow points with Rowan. That's an even better idea. Okay, well, you know what? We'll, we'll Silver infused Rowan wood. That's a mm. great idea. You can't get those on eBay. <laughs> like, you take cannot a, get those on eBay. Listen, Count Chocula, take a Benadryl. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> really, fuck off. I, I, I do want to point out, conceivably, there's only so much I can do during a, a period of time. So. I mean, yeah. I'm going to prioritize. I mean, if you guys want to take like a week or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to take a week for that. I don't want to take that long. Dr. Mitchell, they, so. They already have two days on us, so. Uh, well, I think I can do the I can do the flares and maybe make make some bullets. And and garlic garlic is easy. I can We can just go get garlic from like a store. And well, I, I, and I can work on. Garlic. 
I mean, yeah. I've, I've got a chemistry background being a, a physician, so I can. I That's can, it. Um, You'll make the bear mace. I'll make the bear mace. Perfect. Vampire mace. And, and doctor, if you could isolate the, the part of the garlic that is he's particularly susceptible to, maybe you could do some testing. Um, if you could break out, say, the chemical or amino acids that are in the, the garlic, use them individually and see if one is particularly potent, then maybe next time we could extract that and make something more effective. So, Johnny, that's what I was about to ask. It'll be the allium extract and um, whatever's in that. So I'll be I'll be doing garlic oil. Rowan is the same. Yeah, like if, like if you could pull the gluten out of it and, and, and he if he was allergic to gluten. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Rowan. Yeah, like, that's thoughtful. That's R- thoughtful. Rowan he's not going to die, but he's going to break out high. Yeah. <laughs> Gluten free organic. We'll Rowan, just give him the shits. Rowan I mean, that'll fruit. Calm down. He'll just I'll fucking, fucking laugh. Up. He'll just fucking laugh as he stabs himself with an EpiPen. He's like, oh, ho, you didn't see that coming. I heard them diabetes from. <laughs> oh, for I, 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 I have me been all doing about paleo it. for some time. Rowan fruit contains sorbic acid. Uh. And then when it's in raw, apparently it's something of parasorbic acid. I'm wondering if that, to your point, Johnny, if it's less, <coughs> if it's less about the wood, the, th- eh? the wood is what affects him. So the fruit can. I'm, I'm curious because sadly the resources that I have access to don't talk about why the wood kills vampires. But <laughs> I'm just wondering. You can use it to flavor liqueurs. Let's make him a yeah. beverage. Here, Dracula, here's a we'll beverage. We'll offer him a nice cocktail. Yeah. Yeah, we got the Manhattan. You know, interesting. We'll tell him their lemon the drop. And Rowan drop. What you got to do, see, is you got to get Rowan Wood casks and aged bourbon in them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to get him to drink it. And then oh, get yeah. him to drink it in a Manhattan. No, 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 no fucking listen. Die. No, That's listen. it. That's no, our past community, that. guys. It's long-term but passive immunity. So we drink this bourbon every day. Well, I can't, but you guys can exactly. um, every day. And then we have Rowan like in our blood so that if he attacks us, it'll affect him. He will have the worst. Uh, he'll be the worst <laughs> diuretic vampire ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, 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 you're saying we, we, we want to prepare to be drained of blood. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, mean I, I, I feel like that's really cynical. <laughs> all I, well, this, I mean, it's really cynical, Doc. <laughs> they ain't having Dude, it. She's anyway. not wrong. All right. <laughs> so, to refresh your guys' memory, some information you guys had found out about the Prosper Pine, um, which is um, the one thing you guys were looking into. Oh, wait. It became a, 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 a base, didn't it? Wait. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it was a what was called a stone frigate, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is basically what they called their shore bases and so forth. Is that uh, where these and are? the the Prosper Pine was uh, transferred. The name of the ship was transferred to a stone frigate yep. when uh, they scrapped the uh, boat at the Chatham Dockyard. Um, the Admiralty transferred the stone frigate name to the Lioness Naval Base in Scapa Flow in the Orkney Islands. Um, and in addition to that, you remember the SAS guy that you guys had captured, Dr. L- Mr. Lizardskin, the soldier, or whatever the guys Yeah, he actually he referenced Marrakesh. That. Right, he referenced the Prosper Pine and said that that's where he worked. And when you guys looked up his unit and stuff, you were able to find out that a lot of the people who are now still raided in the British military in the special boat service were raided to basically perform duties on the Prosper Pine. Right. And yep. but the problem is is that almost all of them were registered as killed in action in Iraq and in Iraq, yeah. During the Gulf War. Well, 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 which we, we can we can figure that's all bullshit. So yeah, that sounds like paperwork manipulation. Really. And they were all they were all Royal Marines or part of the special boat service. But everything were, points back to that stone frame. They were is, they were declared dead in training accidents in Iraq and Afghanistan. Well, that explains why they're not moving, right? If that's where they went. There's a, um, out of curiosity, if I uh, correlate, what was the base? Le, uh, Leoness, so is it Leoness base? I'm sorry, 
carry my own handwriting. The base that that assume the name Prosper Pine is it does the uh, do the coordinates line up with that? So when you look at the coordinates of the Lioness Naval Base yep. in Scapa Flow, it is approximately twenty eight miles northwest of the tracker. Close enough. Like. Yeah. So the tracker is literally if you were if you were to follow the coordinates, it'd be about twenty eight miles offshore. Yeah. Mm. Actually offshore. Mm-hmm. Big vessel, probably, if it's that far out. Okay. The, 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 the question is if there's a whole bunch of soldiers there and we show up in in our uh stolen uh airplane without any kind of codes to land there, it's gonna be pretty bad for us. Are we going by plane or are we going by boat? That that is the other question: is do we want to go by plane or by boat? I'd say by boat, and let's take a raft in, yeah. Or, if possible, by submarine. I don't think you have access to a submarine. Who's got? <laughs> wait, Johnny's got preparedness. I bet that means he's got a submarine. <laughs> I, I think I'm. Gonna have I have to... the submarine in my asshole. Give me a second, let me pull it out. Right. Yeah, he has a copy of Yellow Submarine. <laughs> from the That's Beatles true. on his iWatch, on his Apple Watch. That's about Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is a classic. He also can find a copy of uh, Crimson Tide on DVD. Blu-ray, of course, the extended cut, but that's... <laughs> That's but close. if we if we got in, we got a tactical raft, right? Like a you know, and, and come in on a, a fishing boat or something like that. Oh, fishing boat might be a good way to get go the by there and yeah. take some long distance photographs, some reconnaissance, perhaps. Right. That is true. I mean, we we we, we could see at least, at least what we're dealing with. Are they trying to stay somewhat incognito right now? They've not moved a bit. That's the only thing that's confusing to me. Evan, can you see, check the satellite photography of the last, say, 10 years. Uh, uh, and also, uh, what schools fish there? Do fishermen use that area as an estuary or as a, as a fishing ground? On it. If it's plausible, we might be able to get close enough. I'll look into those two things for Johnny. Byron. Thank you. Okay. Um, so with a... Back, glad you're out of the coma. I'm going to call that surveillance. So, Don't you make we, me spend points. You got some smilings. Do I got to spend? A, I do. With a with Quite a, a two point spend. Two, two fucking two point spend. what? Yeah. Two points. With a two point spend on surveillance, oh you my. can uh, access satellite current satellite imagery. Current satellite imagery. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just mention. I mean, the historical is not quite right here, Johnny. I might have been a problem, but. I think I can get us a live feed. Uh, do you want me to go there? You want me to go there? I can tell. All I right. do, but if you do, you've got to make sure that, that they can't trace it back to us. Who are you talking to right now? This isn't Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Done. sure anymore, Evan. I'm really not sure. What do you mean? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? <laughs> two well, points spent, Byron. What do I find? Drug coma for close to two days while we were all researching the book. I was I, I I was right there with you. Remember? Physically, yes, that's true. We could talk later. All right. <laughs> Let, yeah, 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 I, I must admit, you did seem a little strung out. If you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean, actually. Um, I was I was going to go ahead and look into this for Johnny. All right. Yeah. Why don't so you go back to your you... bear mace or whatever the fuck you're over there doing with your colander and your goddamn. <sighs> Why do I do that to myself? I don't even know. Uh, if, we, if other people want to spend points too, I'll just note that Johnny has, I think, some recoveries I'm looking for. Where is it on the sheet? Is it the middle column? Or? Surveillance, you've got it's, eight. I've got eight. Johnny's, Johnny's got eight. Oh, shit. So I could, I've spent you, two. I can, help, I can spend points too. You want to spend one point each? Is that an idea? Is that a thing? Want me to spend two points? Uh, technically, no. It doesn't work that way. Damn. Oh, it doesn't? No. Okay. Johnny's um, got so, so many. What if he just gives me an? So extra that w- that much? works in a tag team thing when, like, um, let's say you were trying to use like a mook shield or something like okay. that. Okay. pull somebody up with a spend, and then you could allow that shield to basically cover both of you. I'm not sure that really plays into like this using a satellite image type deal. That's alright. I'll spend it because um, you know generally, unless I, I think the way this is going to play on my head, probably I, I won't need it. I'll, I spent the two. It's okay. I think. Right. 
So, like, the satellite imagery does not pull up enough that you can basically see, like, a license plate or anything like that. It's not that great. Um, however, it does pull up on those coordinates, and it just looks like a building. In the water. In the middle of the ocean. All right, this is fucked up. Johnny. And there doesn't look to be, like, anything around it. So I kind of, oh. I, I picture sort of, it starts out like a little dot and then drink, drink, drink as I move in and recalibrate the satellite, trying to hurry before the owners of the satellite realize they've been busted into. And then all of a sudden, Johnny's looking at it and he's he's watching the thing and you're just like, it's, it's just a building in the middle of nowhere. It's just hanging in the ocean. Like there's no landing strip. There's no, there's no nothing. It, it doesn't rig? look like any way that anything could be there on that particular spot. Yeah. Um, and Johnny, it hits you that that one guy that was supposedly possible CIA agent that you were trying to talk to worked for an oil company. Oh, oil rig? Oil rig? on an oil rig, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well. It wasn't there. And you... Uh, you managed to oh, Kintar- basically. Uh, is there any? I'm sorry to, to interrupt. This is no, you're thing. good. Contago Oil and Gas. Mm-hmm. I I had pulled a whole bunch of data. Would I happen to have sort of the outlay of their their holdings globally? You do, Does- and they acquired at some point in the past. They acquired old mining, old draw oil and. Uh, so this was disused gas like- platforms and sure enough there was one built in that area in 1977 <laughs> oh, fuck. and it was capped it was capped before it ever went into production interesting I told you it would come back to Texas in the end <laughs> yeah wow and well we were thinking that what about the ship um, the, is the Prospero the Prosper Pine related to the oil rig, Evan. The Prosper Pine is a. It, it basically when 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 old vessels are retired, sometimes their names are put on military bases, and they call those stone frigates. It's a it's a joke term, right? Oh, For the right, Royal Navy, right? right? This stone frigate. If you if you're stationed in one of those, not ideal. But it's 28 miles away from this place. This thing's going to have like a 70s mustache, by the way, but it's not been used since... When did you say it was Cap Byron? It was built and capped in 1977. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that's around when Cushing's was doing research. It was built and capped? Yeah, it was finished and it was before it ever... Before it ever even was uh, began to drill, it was capped and put out of production. It's one of two things. It's either like intentional, like covert sort of thing, or somebody made a really bad bet as to where the oil was. It's like, oops, it's actually just. I'm going to go with the intentionally covert. <laughs> mm, that's probably right. Okay. I, ju- I would just relay this. Uh, but the yeah. good news is it's not moving. And uh, I, I take a look. What, the second question was fishing uh, that Johnny had was. was, uh, was some of what I was looking into was, is there a fishing trade around that area? And how could we slip into that? Uh, it's a lane. It's a shipping lane. A shipping lane. Yeah, there are shipping lanes there. Ooh, okay. Does that surprise you that they would park this, I guess, oil rig now base inside of, an, of a shipping lane? No, because it was capped. If it's quiet and dark, right? So those are the Orkney Islands. I put that thing in Discord there, and I showed you where you oh, are nice. now seeing that uh, that blip, the black dot out in the middle of nowhere is where you're okay. thinking this place is. And so those islands, if you're not familiar with the Orkney Islands, are the islands off the northeast coast of Scotland. I, I look up from my, my bench as you guys are talking, I'm like, I'm like, do you think it'd be really hard for us to just blow the entire thing up? I, mean, I don't think it'd be hard for you at all. <laughs> Their oil platforms are built to withstand 
um, like massive hurricanes and storms. Yeah. And stuff like that. So they're very structurally sound. But they've not they've not faced Hurricane Tesla before. I'm sorry. <laughs> they never faced a Tesla lightning storm. I have a, a, a question. So Byron, you mentioned yeah. so the HMS Prosper Pine is the oil rig, or the oil rig is 28 miles off the coast of where that base was. I'm confused. So the records show that the Prosper Pine's name was given to the Lioness Naval Base and it basically is sewn as a stone frigate there. Well, and, and it's it's that oil station. You believe that's, oh, shit. that's okay. the, All the, right. what you're coming to. Thank you. You're that, coming that to that, that perhaps that's the stone frigate. Wow. That they're that's, making that the base. Could you, is it possible for you to get a tactical nuke? I, I just <laughs> uh, You know, I let the, I let the C4 drones go. But, uh, I'm gonna have to say no to the uh, It's the most assured answer that that would have worked. <laughs> that we can't do it. So think about it, Tesla. We gotta we gotta crack this case. Um, uh, well, uh, a, a tactical nuke, notwithstanding. I mean, if I had free reign to run around the place, I could definitely destroy it. But uh, it'd be getting on there without having without getting shot down, blown up, uh, our boat blown up having to fight a whole bunch of uh, super-powered mercenaries. I mean, who, know, who knows what's on there? How are we going to get on there? You're kind of the brain Excellent. for that, Johnny. Evan, bring up, bring up the photographs. Tesla, take a look at these. See if you can identify what type of station exactly this was. Find the blueprints and see if there's any critical systems that are near the waterline that if you were to place explosives without us actually entering would cause the entire thing to burst into... Tremendous flames and to be destroyed. Yeah, you got like the drilling mechanisms and all that, right? You, you know, they have to have a power source in there. So what? What if we? What if we did something like I don't know, like a, a like like something like an electromagnetic pulse or something like that? Or what if we took two uh, an extra dinghy or boat, filled it full of your most powerful explosives and ran it into the base of the the thing to, to destroy it. My thought with the uh, plans was that perhaps there are critical areas such as cables going to the seafloor that if they were broken might cause the whole station to collapse. That's a great idea. And if we get, um, and, and all we would need is is, is some, well, uh, some diving gear and, and a little bit of gumption, which we have, we have lots of gumption. So Johnny, pardon me for having a lucid moment because I know it's not like me, but the only thing that we know is that the helicopter's there. We don't know whether, you know, the alien went, I mean, vampire went. So blowing up the station, abjectly just blowing up the station, he's not going to find yeah, our vampire. We have no idea what's there, so why would we? Right. I think we drop Lily off, let Lily kill everything there, pick her up like, like, like a play date. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Death, well, destruction, mayhem. I think... Um, Ask is to ensure that uh, this immortal is no longer an immortal if we can, and to come out of it alive. Whatever plan has the highest probability of achieving those two goals, I believe is fine to make our priority. Well, if this being is immortal, as you just said, um, probably blowing up the station probably won't work. Right. There's a well, third goal though. Is what are they using him for? We've gone well, and du- we've gone and dug up some shit from the past, and what are they? It's it's the government. What, what do they want from it? Well, Evan, I realize that you were in a drug-addled state when we discussed it, but I was because <laughs> we, we went through the entire book. It was quite clear, repeatedly through history, the way that Dracula survives is by people being overly curious and attempting to leverage or understand him, and he uses that as a bait, a siren's call to sailors, which ultimately causes their deaths. Also, I'll mention, Lily, that we also read in the book that waters such as the sea or the ocean are complete anathema to him. If he were to find himself buried in a structure on the bottom of the ocean in, in deep moving water, it would essentially be the most fantastic trap that we could possibly create for him. It's like Lovecraft's so, Cthulhu in a way, isn't it? It, 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 it interesting. It, kind of, it, kind of, it, it, kind of, it kind of seems similar. Um, the, also, Dracula is known to use a lot of proxies. Like we don't know how many people he got to. This whole hypnosis mind fuckery thing that he's all about. Uh, 
ma makes them exceedingly dangerous because anyone could be your enemy. Well, so maybe we're all right. Maybe we need to understand what's going on on the station first, but we need to have a goddamn foolproof plan to blow it up if, uh, if we need to, right? Um, there is always the idea it's risky, but we could all come in. We, we could get some really foolproof fake identities and credentials to be affiliated with the oil company. <laughs> to, to, to basically be there, uh, to, to basically kind of be there. I mean, it, it depends on, on how well they know people coming in and out at and that if, facility. And if they know that the entire thing's a front and we, sh and we show up pretending to be part of the actual company, <laughs> that would be pretty fantastic. Well, I mean, I imagine that everyone shows up being uh, shows up pretending to be a part of the company and then we immediately let them know like oh yeah hey we're 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 in on it but but we wouldn't have exactly the right credentials to do that well we may be able to fool Edom. i don't doubt that but mm. i don't recall perhaps you have all forgotten the church i don't think it's been that long That's this not. is a creature of immortal evil he outclasses us in every way possible. We must be as ruthless as can be imagined and cut Ain't him no off his ankles if possible. <laughs> I would not bait him. I would give him zero opportunities and I would not get within a mile of him unless I absolutely had to. Mm, oh, I mean, we, we don't even know if he's there. And that's the, the whole problem is we don't know anything about this place. Mm, I do know that, you do know that the helicopter, the helicopter that carried the Sergeant Agamemnon went there. Right. So, well, so that's that's why, us. because I don't know anything about this place, I instinctively fear it, and there, therefore, I decide I, I feel like we need to blow it up. I, I think you're I, right. I think we need to have a way. We need to have a plan to take it down as soon as we're sure he's there. But if he's not, and we just blow it up, we might be throwing away a whole lot of clues. Where the fuck is he if he's not there? What are we going to do? Well, remember, too, the earth for his bed was carried there. Even if he managed to jump off the helicopter, which we watched move unstoppingly to this location well, i doubt they could move all that earth and his bed but so we've not if, seen well, we, we, we already just talked away. of mind control uh, so. also, also who do who did we come into contact with at that church in london when we were trying to meet that contact that was dead was that him that we, uh, that, that that caused the storms that that, that would uh, that that would mean that the, the, that they they dropped him off in London and he's not even at this island. Is is that question to us, the group, or to Byron? Um, oh, in, no, it's to everybody. The difference well, between the church, be. the difference between the church in Romania and the church in London, was you guys actually full on felt a physical sense of foreboding at at the yeah. London church. That was well beyond anything you experienced at. In Romania, because in Romania, yeah, I mean, if it was if it was him, yeah. he was a lot more powerful. He was recharging. In Romania, I mean, he'd he just had just woken up two days, a day to recharge. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, he probably he was the church. Probably drank like three people, like Capri Suns. <laughs> that kid drinks Capri Suns, <laughs> and well, who wouldn't? I mean, if you had the opportunity. Oh, and by the way, Jason, if we get that's a great down. name, Jason. Yeah, I, great. I saw I saw the light go off. Ding. I'm writing it down. So the, <laughs> the day that, so I guess this is a Byron question. The the day we saw the blip go to the the stone fortress, Stone Island, was that how many days before hey, after uh, that hold was up, hold the first? Sorry, I just had the incredible uh, moment. We saw him drink blood on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> was that the I, I was the only one that actually looked at him in the tower uh, are they yeah, the same person so. the, were the they the same oh yeah, the, the two different vampires oh, shit, vampires yeah. oh. all right oh, yes, um, they, they don't match they don't what match the, what the fuck I grab Lily by <laughs> the shoulders are you fucking kidding me right now <laughs> I had well, there's more than one of, there's the more than one of them tower. So we have at least two. This is to our advantage. If there's a weaker one here, we can use it for experimentation. Oh my god! What? Which one's oh, our the best one? one? We don't. We don't know which one. The one, one they pulled out of the church in Romania was definitely. I, 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 we didn't feel that sense of danger. 
around that one. So, so well, is this, well, is you, this a situation? You, you felt this sense of danger, just not. Oh, well, well, which, which one? Which one's fucking Count Dracula? Oh, well, no, no. Is this a situation where Dracula and his thralls are going and digging up a whole bunch of their other ilk and assuming, you know, oh, God, and assembling like a fucking vampire task force? <laughs> Why couldn't this be the Russians the just being pesky again? There was nothing yeah. in the novel about a second vampire, correct, Byron? I mean, there were other vampires in the novel. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he had three vampire brides. In the novel, yeah, he had he had three vampire brides, and one of them was Lucy Westerner. Could it be Lucy? I mean, I mean, the, the vampire in Romania was not female. No, the one he saw, one Lily saw in the London church. No, that was male. So we have two males. No Is there any chance? Any vampires, right? I'm sorry, Dave. The books and the notes make no mention of any male vampires besides Dracula, correct? No, no. but it does It does mention that he could be, he could sire others. I'm going to ask but Lily. The, and that he may not be the only one of his kind. So, Lily, the thing that you saw in the tower, is there any chance that it had recovered physically? Because, uh, I mean, it had been laying around like a big piece of beef jerky in a box for a while, and it drinks some blood. <laughs> is it, was it just feeling better? And, I mean... Or are we certain that it wasn't the same creature? Uh, that'd be up to my dad. <laughs> that, I'm sorry. The question was, um, could it have recovered? Right? Like it came out of a box when we saw it. We it think gone. it could have recovered in the time. Yeah. We found like, it in Romania and it London. Had it rehydrated or enough for Or we it was too different. So is that the point of the? Of you the, don't know. You're the, you're the, you're not yeah. skilled in vampireology to. I have no idea. To know that kind of. What was? What do you think their? Sorry, Charlie. The, go ahead. Their original plan had something to do with that cooler full of blood. We can assume that they were intending to feed it, um, as soon as they brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. An an option that you guys to took away. To. Yeah, an option that you guys took away. So, honestly, with the fact that we destroyed that blood, it's probably very unlikely that even after draining one person, he would be fully recovered enough to be that drastically different. Yeah, but we well, tried. And, by, but, uh, by now he could be. By now he could be, but not by the time we were in London. But we traveled to London. It doesn't take very... He didn't... If you remember the, the footage, he just... The Capri Sun is the best analogy I've heard. Just <laughs> And it was done. He could have had a six-pack on his way mm. out. You know, stop for a few at the airport or something. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we, can, we 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 can't we can't really trust that they're going to have morals at that point. So they're not going to be they're they're, they're not going to be very picky about who they use unless 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 Dracula himself is somehow picky. Like he only wants to he only wants to suck the butt of hot chicks. I like the Capri Sun analogy because I want to um, stake the vampires through the heart like, you know, you do with the straw. Mm. <laughs> it goes all the way through. Yeah. I, ju I just want there to be one is what I want. Just one is fine. Two, three, mm. five. Mm. Eh. And you it, know how it is to, to nail those Capri Suns. Imagine how hard it is to do a vampire. I mean, I think we're going to... I, I hear you, though. It is interesting. So we definitely have at least two vampires, both male, Per well, Lily, right? Well, we, we have to take some kind of action. We don't know how to track the one in, in London. Our best yeah, bet is the HMS Prosper Pine. Yeah, I agree. I think we've got uh, we we've got to hop on. A, I think uh, we go there for more research than yeah. to just blow it up, but have we, the have the chance to just tank it. And we get a tactical mm -hmm. raft, and we go in, uh, mm -hmm. you know, seal style, frogman style. Rosely there. And, and then and, and and then we just we in we infiltrate and we uh, gather as much information as we can. Uh, All right. Sure. So using traffic analysis, thinking back of the uh, annotations, or whatever, <laughs> you guys you guys scour the annotations uh, easily, and you're able to crunch all the data that was in the, the book, and you find four mentions of the Prosper Pine in the annotations in the Dracula and Redacted. So the first mention of it is on page 13, CU 26. Cushing, so it's, it's Cushing's 26th entry. 
It says, the power of influencing weather is well established. Is this a conscious control or does it reflect the creature's moods and hungers? Memo, cross check weather reports from Prosper Pine. Shit, they've put him there because they, those structures are safe against weather, right? They think they're safe there. They're stupid and that's fine. They think they have him trapped there? Wow, what a... Yeah. So, uh, uh, I have I have a suspicion that Cu- that Cushing's was somehow affiliated and might might have been on the Prosper Pine at some point. Well, so well, page page fifty seven Hopkins in his sixty third entry says digging around in an SIA spreadsheet, I found references to a training facility operating out of Exeter, also a Navy ship attached to the facility called the HMS Prosper Pine. She's not on any of the Royal Navy rolls, though. Not since 1919. Mm. What page was that? 57. Page 57. Right. Hopkins, Hopkins 63. Mm. So, I mean, we're, we're definitely on the right track. I, I guess the question just becomes, do, do we do, do we go in all sneaky-like, or do we go in, you know, fire and brimstone? Which no. I guess it sounds like oh. we should go sneaky-like. So there are two other two other mentions also on page 294 Cushing's 179th annotation the HMS immortality was commanded until his sudden death in 1892 by captain Sir William Wiseman 9th Bart his son William 10th Bart established section 5 of MI6 in New York in 1914 mentored William Stevenson aka intrepid from 5 of 94 to 11 of 95 immortality is on reserve precursor to the prosper pine question mark mm-hmm uh, um, I, I, I honestly believe that this is a, that this is obviously a testing facility and they've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, and then the final mention uh, in the unredacted book is on page three twenty six, Hopkins, one ninety three. Nobody has a sacred bullet. Silver bullets are werewolves, right? Later, Montague Summers, vampire, his kith and kin, page two hundred nine, says blessed silver bullets are for vampires too but he was deranged and believed in witches i'm so glad we did not bother to make silver bullets uh, later i mean I, I, I actually um what, what what was that bitch we fought she's definitely a witch so later the royal navy accounts show unusual silver purchases more than needed for metals through the hms prosper pines financial records so they're See, that's that, that's what i'm saying i'm saying that there's evidence that for silver too but i, I think and, that, and that doesn't mean it's silver. real it just means that's how they're preparing and then right? later again after that when hopkins went back to look a second time at the information all searches on the prosper pine were scrubbed mm-hmm. traces, all traces were hid and all back doors were closed mm. how much silver are we talking about do we have any idea Mm. Um, it, it's just an annotation, so I don't think we would be able to. Uh, we could try to find out. Yeah. No, the but financial we, records. The financial records were scrubbed. Yeah, they were. Mm-hmm. Everything was scrubbed. They're not going to have that either. Well, depending on the quantity, it could be that they're building. They built a silver jail cell, perhaps, yeah. on the Prosper Pine, um, mm. or maybe it's just a small amount used for experiments, as you said. Um, mm. I, I will say this: curiosity killed the cat. We can try and uncover more information by going there, but we are greatly increasing the chances at least one of us, if not all of us, will die. If we simply take the thing out, I have a feeling that we will damn at least one vampire to the bottom of the ocean. And that's that, that's what I'm talking about. Like if we if we cut the power uh, at the very least and we damage the structure, then they all start to panic and then shock and awe. Red Lily can get in there and she'll be like, Shh. but remember our training. When, when you engage, right, you first, you verify that your target's there. If we just blow the fuck out of it, we don't know what we're blowing up. We certainly send something to the bottom of the ocean. But by yeah, now... We could, we could be blowing up innocent people. We don't know. I mean, yeah. definitely. 
definitely would be blowing up innocent people, I'm sure, that are on this secret base getting paid. None of them are innocent. <laughs> Right. Right. They've, They've all chosen to do something yeah, with this. Statistically, <laughs> probably most. <laughs> Understand um, well. if we take a boat there, we should not leave it at the base. We need another person to take the boat away from the base. For I fear if we, br they probably secluded the thing. We might be bringing the one thing that Dracula or whatever that vampire's name is needs to get off that base. Mm, so the one thing that they're smart they do is they have no way for him to get off of there. So, so uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the, sa the yeah, safe bet yeah. would be to cut the power. If we if we we cut the power in some way, then then it limits how how well they can defend themselves. I'm sure they have generators and redundant systems, but Johnny has military science, so it could possibly come up as an idea. You guys could Halo jump in. <laughs> now I'm talking. Now you're talking. That's terrifying. That would be fun. Special Forces insertion. High altitude, high opening. Yeah. That Jump is... out of a plane at 20,000 feet. But couldn't we just get a small boat that's not quite so high <laughs> off the ground? It's so we're jumping out of the skies. Right? Hail down in there. Oh, you already know there's a helicopter there. Uh, I, mean, I, I, I was going to say, <laughs> we, we, we could search the, the general area and see if they have um, cables or any other things. That are connected to this base. Like maybe they might not, but they might. <laughs> I wish those of you who are watching the stream and or the uh, the subsequent edit could see the Discord chat here. But yeah, that's that's terrifying. oddly disgusting. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> And it's just repeating <laughs> over it's and over and over. And I'm just staring at it when it happens. I'm <laughs> just like fixated by it. like what? Well, so don't I mean, ask me I what I would love for you to delete that. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat too much cow chocula. <laughs> yes. uh, all right. So uh, do, do we have any kind of, uh, we haven't really reached a consensus. Like, so let's try so to figure it out. Halo jump in. It's a halo I jump. Think yeah. That's a great idea. You, you, you want a halo jump? Well, so everybody in agreement with the halo? Know there's a helicopter once we get there we take it and leave but your halo jumps not you're not going to land on the platform all of us so no. we're going to land nearby yeah. we're going to need yeah so uh can we get like this sort of uh small tactical raft sort of thing with the uh the i'm stuck on vomit no whatever i'm trying to I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's one yeah, stop. you're talking That's about better. a uh a rubber boat yeah yeah I just pulled up. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna totally see us coming, though. Don't right, you think? But, but, well, I'm just thinking no, if we halo not. jump in, Are we do it in the cover at night. Yeah, and the, and something goes wrong with the helicopter. We, we're gonna need something to get out. A bicycle's not an option. Uh, Swimming is not an option. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I'm, gonna bring, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get a, a my hands on a tactical raft. Um, sort of. I don't know that they make those backpack style. Byron, you tell us if there's something. They do. Like, they, do yes. they? I'll, they do. I will. I will kit that out. It, it would. It would just have oars. It wouldn't have a, a what you call it, like you see there. In the oh, there's the there's not an engine that fits back. in the backpack. That's true. <laughs> Wait, Lily I mean, can use that as a weapon. It, in an emergency, we'll do what we have to do. It's a survival thing. Yeah. And right. I was, I'm having a okay. technical problem. My machine's locked up, and I. I'm afraid I'm going to have to reboot in order to unlock it. Can we uh -oh. take a break? Oh, we're part. good. So we, we were talking about going in uh, Halo jumping, huh? Yeah, hmm. right. That yeah, sounds like a plan. So, Tesla, I think if part of the plan can be the first thing we do is assist you in planting high explosives on critical points around the base of the oil platform. So that it will be destroyed if you hit your radio control trigger. Yeah. And then we go in. I'm I like, I, I want to tell you, Johnny, that I appreciate your style of leadership right now. Well, and <laughs> your confidence is appreciated. I'm sorry, Tesla? Is there more? I, know, I was going to say, I really appreciate your style of leadership right now, Johnny. I feel like we're really approaching this the right way. Well, I hope so. And I, I just want to make sure that everyone who goes is committed that even before saving our own lives, should a vampire be there, we do not allow the vampire to leave, even if it means our own destruction. 
is everyone agreed? Johnny, mm. what, what uh, can we just talk about this for a yes. minute? Like, um, what about, what, <laughs> Let's talk about this for more. What if we leave with enough yes. information that the doctor can figure out a way to kill them easily? Um, I mean, I mean, if all hope is lost and we have no other choice, then then we die. But if we if we if we think that we can't beat this thing, we should retreat. I, I agree. Come up with a different plan. And you can't, as long Johnny. as no vampire um, gets itself off that platform. If if we retreat, fine. I have no problem with that. But if it's between our survival and a vampire imminently getting on a boat and leaving. That's where I suggest that we be committed in advance if we're going to go there to destroying ourselves. Yes. In the first. Uh, I, I, I agree. I agree. Too, too, they're too dangerous to be allowed to continue to un, unlive. So destroying all means of egress is what you mean by that, what? right? Like, um, no, Question. Just, <laughs> this is the doctor. She's got something to say. What if the point of that platform in the middle of the ocean is to have a safe place from the vampires. And there'll be a great new base of operations for us. And we'll have no reason to destroy it because there's no vampire. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm only it'll, saying it'll be a great new base for us to start. That, can't argue against that. Oh, shit. It won't be wait, as wait, nice wait. as Portica, but yes. It seems more likely than the alternative, than, than well, Stereo A. So you think it's possible that, the, the, just thinking out loud, the British government went and snatched that one from Romania. It's not the same one as the scary one that was around or whatever. Um, that, oh, that maybe they're the good Somehow guys. Somehow it's not there. That's interesting. Well, we, we do have a lot of evidence that they're at the very least doing experiments on uh, SAS members and, and right. other people like that. So... We're going to find some labs, presumably. That's going to be helpful for you, Doc. Agreed. So, is it, I will it, attempt to leave someone alive. So, so if, if we find some, if we we find some lab coats, we just don't take them out. We 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 question them, figure out what the hell they're trying to do there, how they're doing it, and then maybe we maybe we get some vamp juice for ourselves just in case. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Should we? If we find vamp juice that makes our skin all all hard and stuff, would that be a great idea or a terrible idea? Do you want your Tinder profile to look like that, man? Because I mean, it sounds like it could be great. <laughs> didn't he look normal, right? Well, until you yeah. took his clothes off and started hurting him, and then he didn't look so normal after all. I personally have no way opposed to collecting samples. If the doctor can or any of us can obtain them, because they're already there in the lab and we can leave with them, that's fine. But I, I just want to make sure that we're all committed to this and we understand this. <laughs> if there is a vampire there and it looks as if the vampire is going to escape, we're all agreed that we'll blow the platform rather than let the vampire leave. Is that correct or no? Mm, I, I agree. And uh, also, Byron, um, if you're listening in, absolutely, I need a contact who's a pro pilot um and red lily gets to choose his name <laughs> or her name who cares so who is uh, i need i need a pro pilot uh, the name of a pro pilot who's going to be the person who's going to drive us in fly us in and, and help us halo drop it's a really good point lily's concentrating uh i am should bring up Fire. the Lord of the Rings name yeah. generator. I was wondering if you were frozen. You were so still for a minute. No, he he, he, bring, he brings up the Lord of the Rings DVD. Listening. It's like it's like uh, her name is Glamdring the the Fohammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Lieutenant Lieutenant Fohammer. Um. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Fohammer. That's so good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Power Hammer. You like that? Oh, Sounds that's good. Oh, oh. oh, it's it's made it. Yep. <laughs> it's done. Shit. It's done. Both. Power Hammer. <laughs> it's Tesla. It's like I'm calling in that favor. <laughs> he was a <laughs> former. He was a former like Falklands pilot. <laughs> and he used to fly Panzer tornadoes. Forgive me, I don't mean to harp on this. It's a good plan, Tesla. And Lily, thank you for the name, but I did not hear from Evan the Doctor. Are you committed, yes or no? 
Uh, you know, I follow your orders, Johnny, yes. So, um, but I'm not going to let us die. What we should agree on is that the platform doesn't stand, but we, as many of us as possible, mm. we, follow, we follow your usual edict on keeping us alive. Otherwise, I, I'll watch from afar, because I think we're going into some shit. <laughs> but uh, you don't die, but I won't. Uh, and Doctor? <sighs> yeah. I, I agree, and I, I can't watch from afar because I, I think you're going to need my skills to help plant some of this stuff. Very well. If we're all agreed, then I think we have our we have our marching orders. First, we work with Tesla at the base to set the charges to destroy it, make sure that Tesla has the radio-controlled trigger, and then <laughs> we find entrance into the platform from the water and we do we find out what we find so that makes sense so so we're setting charges first garlic butter like papa john's the not... water <laughs> <laughs> he's literally just got got a whole bit he like went and got him from papa john's just... I, I do i, I literally yeah, we, 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 we just smear it, it all is. over ourselves and we're like like listen draco this is not a sex thing so the absolute <laughs> funniest part about the whole Papa John's garlic butter thing, that's that's unsettling. But <laughs> it's very unsettling. I don't know why, but it's uh, it's very unsettling. It's a smile. It's the and smile it's the and, smile. Yeah. and the scared face of the butter. The fact that it's still going <laughs> the over and over again. I'm I'm not I'm not, absolutely like a bandolier of of sharps with that was some, yeah. some I will water. say that the uh, uh when I was looking at videos for like prep and stuff like that at uh and different conversations for the Dracula dossier one group literally used Google Maps to find out where every Domino's pizza was to get that garlic butter <laughs> yeah I'm not <laughs> kidding get I garlic guess. butter you can put it in the little thing and sh just like a just like a medicine bottle so I, I'm going to I'm going to have a bunch of those <laughs> Is there a skill that reflects scuba diving and stuff, or are you going to assume we know how to do that? I don't see it. Tradecraft will cover oh, it. Tradecraft, okay. Got it. Yeah. Or athletics. Either one of those would cover it. I would assume that knowing how to scuba dive and dive and halo jump and all that stuff would all be covered under Tradecraft. Mm -hmm. This is terrifying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do it's a cool it. idea. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you guys have absolutely no solid way out. I know this. <laughs> I think it's amazing. That, that's my favorite part. Oh, can you picture, oh, oh, Byron? We, we have a solid way the out. The best part of every fabulous yeah, plan. We have a rowboat. That's our way out. We can we, row. We have a solid way out. Twenty. Need, we need a solid way out. Actually, yeah. leaving. Yeah. Yeah. It really is our way out. A rowboat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure they have some kind of helicopter or something there. Well, are we going to make some sort of plans for a pickup afterwards? No, <laughs> we should. And we really should. They have communications in some way, I would think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it'll just get destroyed when we hit the fucking water. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> I might have. I'm, I'm like, well, don't, and don't worry. Fo, 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 that hammer. might be the plot hook to your entire Cthulhu yeah. adventure. Could be. <laughs> and don't worry, Lieutenant Fohammer is, is is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he'll be able to swing right by and pick us I back mean, up. He could literally be the worst because it's like thirty thousand feet. So it's just like fly over. Well, that's the thing. He's gonna out. fly back and do what? Wave. <laughs> it's gonna, he's gonna like open. buzz you like 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 Tom Cruise on the tower. He's gonna like, open the ramp and slow. No, be like down. Batman. We'll like shoot up a little like thing and it'll clip us and pick us up. <laughs> and rip your arm right off. <laughs> It'll be like on the deadliest catch. When the little like, <laughs> Coast Guard helicopters like trying to land on the boat, you know, like, mm -hmm. other, uh, the little basket, That's little basket. Like, is it possible to get a radio uh, beacon and have the pilot of a helicopter notify that within certain hours, if the beacon goes off, to do an ocean pickup? Like they like what they use for planes when they go down. A, a simple beacon. That yeah, we well, just call the Coast Guard. No, 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 we it's... cannot, Red Lily. <laughs> Um, and that way, we have a chance of getting picked up if we should survive. We don't want the Scottish Coast Guard, especially. They're uh, feisty. 
<laughs> no one expects a Scottish Coast Guard. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I don't want to get haggis or anything. Right. So, Tesla, is that a possibility that you can set that up as well? Haggis. Yeah, yeah, I, I can set that up. What about they have these um, life jackets that are like real, real thin um, that automatically uh, deploy in the water, when yeah. inflate when in the water. We could rig one of those, or we could rig those. <laughs> One for each of us um, to also have a GPS that yeah. that activates at the same time. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Sure. I like that Is we're pla I like that we're planning on everything being fucked up, and we have if to be you, rescued. Uh, <laughs> if you activate them when they hit the water, you're gonna jump into the water, so it would deploy as soon as you hit the water. Can we get ones that you activate when you push a button or something instead? Absolutely, Absolutely. you can get. Harder. I don't. Don't push the button until we're all ready to leave. You know, put your on three or and stay together. Three. All right. <laughs> One. All right. So yeah. that's fine. We can be button activated instead of automatic if mm -hmm. we're actually planning and jumping in the water. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you all are ready, I'm going to assume. Are we doing this daylight? Look, what t what time are we doing this? Uh, nighttime. Dark. Night. Pre dawn. You know, when the vampire will be up playing cricket. Oh, I like pre-dawn. Pre <laughs> uh, yeah, pre-dawn. Pre-dawn is beautiful. Yeah. All right. So pre-dawn, Ray. Are bulletproof vests a thing in this thing? Is that something that we Yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Right. Bulletproof. So are we all saying that basically we have some sort of vest? I'm going to yeah, suit up. Tactical vest and such, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wait a minute. That, We're going to jump in the water wearing right? bulletproof vests? Pardon? Yes. But but we have we have our little inflatable thing. Yeah, we'll we, be fine. We, Don't worry. Yeah, we're gonna row 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 up boat right straight to our deaths anyway, so it's fine. Straight to our deaths. Like a candle to a flame. I mean, the worst thing that happens is we'll get shot out of the water. Oh, that's not the worst. <laughs> the worst thing that happens is we're gonna sink. Be that's what the uh, life vest is for. That's probably close. <laughs> worst thing is we get eaten alive and then we sink. Like, some... well, we don't need to be fatalistic about this. We're going to kick ass and take names just like we always have. <laughs> we're going we to had... eat alive, ass first, like Jason's frog, and then, uh, <laughs> then we sink to the bottom of the ocean. We're going <laughs> to kick names and take ass is what we're going to do. Kick <laughs> ass first. Like like kick rocks. Kicking... We're going to take ass. <laughs> just <laughs> kick rocks and take it in the ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we've got... All right, uh, so, so pre-dawn, so we're halo jumping. All right. Some, some tactical so, uh, vests. Pre hold on. Pre-dawn, halo jumping, wearing bulletproof vests into the water. So I mean, I'm not going to not wear the vest. I'm not going to try to put it on in a gunfight. So yeah. <laughs> they're a tactical float vest. Apparently, I'm just looking this up that will keep us from. Uh, we're gonna look yeah, we can get the, like, like the really Stay Puff shit. Marshmallow Man with the layers of shit we have on, but we won't sink. I don't think. I'll pump It'd be up. hard to do my parkour in that gap. <laughs> <laughs> you attempt to parkour. You can, you can choose not to wear a bulletproof vest. <laughs> You could be uh -huh. just like you could be just like the the Delta Force guys in <laughs> Mogadishu. Like, don't put the plates in the back. And he's like, why are you putting the plates in the back? He's like, I'm playing on running from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see Black Hawk Down? <laughs> wow, well, but still. all right. But we'll we'll uh, however most expedient. We'll I guess all of standard gear, bulletproof vests, uh, you know, uh, wetsuits. That can insulate us in the cold Arctic water or whatever that what water is. You guys could take that stuff in a like flotation package. Yeah. Uh, a flotation thing. So you don't gotta carry all the gear. You can take it the raft. Full tech. You can put what they typically do is put all the tactical gear in the raft and then the raft comes out also. Mm, how, how many of those funky funky bullets were I able were I able to make and the flares? Do you have like a number? Uh I would say you can make um to see here so you're able to get about seven flares and what was the other item uh bullets um the weird yeah, rowan the ro weird rowan slash silver bullets that we well to find the rowan wood like i mean it's gonna take you a mile to do that yeah we did have to acquire it it's rowan not... wood bullets yeah, yeah you'd have to get the rowan wood trim it down experiment see if they even work 
Uh, yeah. All right, I'll just be like, okay, in this time frame. Can we just frame, do a montage and have it done? How much of the garlic bear mace did we get? Uh, I'd say you could get uh, either two big cans or four small ones. I bought all the McCormick that they had at the store. You've got me now. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You know, if I, can make well, I also made the, the garlic smoke bombs. Those shouldn't have taken a spent made a, Those should not have taken a lot of time to make. But a large yeah. supply of garlic. You know, one thing mm -hmm. Byron for this game would be great is if they had a action that the mm -hmm. party can call. Like one of them would be montage, and like once per adventure, the party can call a montage and achieve like <laughs> six weeks worth of stuff in like <laughs> one night. If you can do it. You can, montage. you can you can accomplish six weeks worth of stuff in a short period of time. It's just not going to be like twenty four hours. I was just talking so, thematically. Uh, if you guys uh, want to wait out making all that stuff, no, no. How, no. Much, how much time did we? Agree? So far, it's only been about forty eight about forty eight hours. Right, but you had said we could take a week, or we could. <laughs> what, what did we? You take as long as you want. We what don't did, have, I have a lot of time. I don't think we should wait. Resolve. That long. Yeah, to take a certain amount of time. Yeah, I'm, I'm a worried if we wait too long, we might lose the trail real bad. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go after 48 hours, and we're going to go pre-dawn, like three hours before dawn. Is there any right. chance that we could have gotten a hold of some Rowan Wood in that period of time? Like, just load and, and, ju and just do straight-up stakes. Yeah. yeah. We'll just do straight-up stakes. Which, which probably only Red Lily's actually going to be able to do very well with. Like, who else is a hand-to-hand -hand combat person? Oh, cool. Uh, I'm a bit. You know what? Oh, we can cool. do it. We can have each have, <laughs> like, oh, cool. Uh, we can have Rowan Wood toothpicks. And if it comes to it, we can pull them out and use them as shivs. Like, yeah. Red, yeah. Red Lily shank. is the only character with any weapon skill. Oh, a shank a bitch. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can shoot. I, I, had I am skill. shooting. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but we don't we don't have any bullets, so it, so that doesn't work for the Rowan. All right, he's in hand-to-hand. Hand. I have so eight hand-to-hand What about back? Weapons, not hand to hand. To weapons. The, okay, weapons. How about back I'm to the I'm the only one with weapons skill. Tara, what are you how saying? about back to the dark gun idea then? Uh, I lied. Hand to hand, uh, Johnny. That's true. Johnny and, uh, what you call it? Lily. Are the two yeah. with actual hand to hand. All right, I have so four shooting. Sorry. I also nice. have four shooting, but Me I have too. 14 in weapons. Damn. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so. Peace. Uh, Taro, right. you so dark gun. I would like my weapon to be um, a dark gun with Rowan darts. Yeah, can we oh, do that's like not a bad idea? Could you do like a consumer grade, um, like a crossbow or something? All right, like a. That's true. Just get, just get a just get a. We don't even have to make it. We just get a crossbow and make some Rowan bolts. Woo. I want to be able to do this. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's an awful lot of work. Um, there, I mean, like rifle style dark guns. So yeah, oh, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, I'll I'll take a stake because I'm hand to hand. If it comes to that, I'll just take a stake. I'll take a stake, a bear mace, and uh, a flare. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we need to take a flare. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's gonna get a flare. Uh, Red Lily will get two flares because I know that she's a badass, and I guess I'll get an extra one too. Who gets bear and then, mace? So we have and three three big cans, or do you want? Did you want the four small cans? Two big cans or four small. Two big cans or four small cans? I mean, four four small cans would cover basically all, all, everyone except for one person. So, right, person is offsite. And then um, it was I, I whipped up some of the smoke bombs too and toss each one there. Those. Okay. It, 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 it's like the, the, this vampire is so fucked unless it's an alien. <laughs> you had to say that, didn't you? You just had to say that. Right. Now. It's luckily, alien. luckily, there's no evidence of UFO style act. Oh wait. Uh, so except, for the, except for the biscuit and all. Except right. for the biscuit. Yeah. Except for the biscuit. Yeah, That's right. not a biscuit. <laughs> well, <laughs> does the smoke so, grenade do anything besides block vision, Doctor? Is the smoke grenade special? Yeah, they're garlic they're infused. Like, they're garlic. So they're, okay, thank you. So they're making a local... They're make really bad potpourri. Make a local you get, you make yeah, they're like the potpourri you get at the dollar store. Make everyone in, in the area of effect very hungry for Italian food. When you do this. Yes. Right. They're, they're, it's just to ward off the... Yeah. Give us a, a couple extra minutes to fire our weapons. Yeah, up. right. Yeah. Uh, like anybody that's got breadsticks is whipping them out. Right. Always <laughs> smoke grenade to a vampire is like a candle scented shop to me. I just have to avoid it. Run a walk yeah. away. Around. We just like yeah. somehow bait him into a Yankee candle. Mm. 
I'm, 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 it takes longer to make candles. Yeah. Um, Evan, is there anything you want to contribute in case he's an alien? Like, you know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> do you want to um, do anything here, Evan? Like an anal probe, for around. example. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're an expert uh, on aliens. So, so, like. Well, I've not tried. To, I, I've never tried to kill an alien before, if I'm being honest. But well, I've got my. Be um, first. I've got a bandolier of syringes, and I'm, I'm happy to provide extra. This is straight. No, look, and I hold up the Papa John's butter, and this will f either one or two things. It will either kill him or give him really bad breath. By the way, <laughs> give him acid. Reflux. I have a bandolier, and I, I just don't even want to be there. If I'm being honest, I just I'm supporting my people. I've got a steak. I got a flare. I got a smoke bomb. I got a whole shitload of garlic. I got some holy water. They said it was holy. They're at the church. Probably not. They're probably well, right. a combination of zombie land and mystery men. <laughs> Do we all have holy water, Byron, or not? Sure. You well, can definitely get some holy water. That's because it. by the time I was finished that night, it was all gone. <laughs> they might be upset about this. Where did all of our holy water go? I don't know. Um, so, so, so that was uh, Russian holy water. <laughs> so so I, 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 I called. I called uh, I called Joel Austin's special number and I ordered like a, a variety pack of holy water. <laughs> Benny Hinn number one, I sent you the little pack. Called Benny Yeah, Hinn. I was like... Did you get the bacon scented holy water? No, the garlic flavored holy <laughs> right. water. Right, so we're actually. jumping. <laughs> karmic. I love that. Right, I love that we're we, like we as players, Byron, are just we're gonna keep doing this until you make us stop because we don't want to die. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. So, right, hold on, hold on. I want to read my list of equipment here. Okay. <laughs> I got you, man. I have a small vampire mace, one garlic smoke bomb, one magnesium flare, a holy water squirt gun, and uh, a uh, Rowan dart gun. And very dark glasses in, in case I have to deploy that flare. Good call. Oh. I'm dumb, so I don't have the glasses. I've got the same basic same list. I don't have a squirt gun. She's yeah, smarter I, than I. I also don't have the glasses. Just don't but, look into the light. Yeah. Like don't look into the welding light. You're yeah. good. I'm just gonna note that I got the flare, the smoke grenade, the holy water, but I have three Roanwood stakes that I'm carrying on with me. How, how many darts do I have? There? Uh, we'll say four. I have the mace, the flares, the stakes, and holy water. Um, uh, uh, Doc, who, who did you give the small mace to? We you have you only have four. Right? Yeah, who's that? I would have one. So who, I'm who, going to take one. <laughs> okay, so Lily's going to take one. Um, like so, there's only four. So, I, I you know what? I, I'll just pass on the mace. That's fine. I don't have to have one, but Johnny is a hand-to-hand -hand specialist. Like, that's my thing. Yeah, <laughs> you should, you should have I'll one. have to have one, but... Actually, and, um, I, as we're talking specialist about... Specialist is iffy, but you're good because uh, Because I have two UV, <laughs> I have two UV flares, so that's... Um, uh, so that that should balance things out, I figure. So I got two two flares, so... So, Evan, you can have one, then. I would almost try to talk Tesla into taking mine, but okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Um, it's okay. I, I'll, share, I'll share. Well, let's just talk about this for a minute. The flares are more effective from a distance, probably. Mace, not so much. How, let's trade. One flare. Come on. <laughs> Can we? Well, would you rather have the ability to defend when someone's up close or further away? Uh, if further something away, does get because close to that you. Means what, if, it, what if it does get close to you, Evan? It won't. And if it does, it's going to be really bright then. So here, here's your man. <laughs> Trace, really come on, Tesla. You, okay. you probably owe me for something. All right, that's fair. I'll, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a second for Donnie's yeah. secret wish is to mook shield with a vampire. <laughs> well, that would be <gasps> counterintuitive because the vampire is not going to be a mook. <laughs> I'll never know. Really? Nothing's impossible. You it's a mook work. vampire. That's the <laughs> mook vampire. Yeah, I fucking wish. He's like, all right, so you guys get all your planning done. You get all your stuff together. And our plane doesn't You're show up. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic thing. Uh, the little dude shows up. Uh, he's wearing, like, some Hawaiian shorts and, uh, like, a uh, like an Indian shirt. Uh, he's got, like, some big beads around his neck. And he's like, oh, how do you like my plane, Tesla? And uh, Lieutenant Fohammer. Uh, he just I'm goes like, by. Wow, you've, you've really uh, 
let yourself go since you retired, AFO Hammer. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's like you'd be surprised, you know, the the moving moving this cargo around isn't that big of a problem. Uh, people always got stuff they need moved. Always, always got stuff they need moved. He's like, and I, I knew that we should have some cool music because everybody has cool music, and so I got I got this copy of uh, Wagner's Flight of the Valkyries. Who the I'm fuck like, is this oh, wanker yeah, anyway? Like, you, you, <laughs> You, you, it's like you, you, you remember our, uh, you, you remember the song we used to play back in the day. I give my yeah. Eye I always love Apocalypse Now. It's not Evan. Is it Evan? Is it, remember, Charlie Evan. doesn't surf. Or Johnny? Did you get special medicine before we left? Uh, it, well, yeah. <laughs> wait, okay. wait, which? <laughs> yeah, you know which one. I'm fine. I'm doing well. But who the fuck is this wanker, Johnny? Is he fly a plane or does he just have a plane? Do I'm, 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 I'm like Evan. If you if you need some cocaine, I'm pretty sure Fohammer probably has some back in the crotch rocket or whatever his name is. That's fine. Oh, I, I got to, I got my personal stash right here. And he like he like shows you some. Right by then, he's he's cranking the he's cranking the thing on the back of the the, the plane. Raising like a the bag of cocaine. Raising thing. All he has to do is fly. It's just a, just a little thing. So, you know, knowing <laughs> Evan, I, he, he would probably, you know, kind of be close and be like, ah, where are you from, mate, or whatever. And, you know, he might try to get the hookup. A little bump might help him out with this situation. You know? Yeah. So. He's like, oh, well, I'm going to all see to start, but, you know. Uh, that explains yeah. a lot. Yeah. You know, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. You know? I, I went to the Falklands when I was young. And you, is, know, uh, you know how war is. War takes a toll, and you know you got to you got to just move on with your life. You know what I mean? You can't just die in the outback. You got to come back to civilization. Yeah, you got to come back get, to the junkyard your and find together. yourself a plane. Uh, you know, the last time I saw a, a, an aircraft like this was Millennium Falcon, and it was falling apart. It seems like Millennium Falcon. It's that, a great ship, though. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't got Chewie or nothing. I did have a dog once, but it sadly he fell out of the plane. It was it was very bad. I'm sort of looking over my shoulder. I'm guessing my my comrades are like, Jesus, he's doing it again. And I'm like, Hey, Mike, you got a little of that? Just a little? A little of that? What? Uh, oh, you need some stuff? I got a stash right here. I and he like him. he he's up in the he gets up in the cockpit and he's he pulls out his first aid kit. He's got and, like a, uh, a gallon bag of some <laughs> shit. He's just got a little Ziploc and he's like, he's like, I'll keep it here, well, you know. It's nice. You know what's it's fucked nice. up? I'm just going to tell you this. We're going to go fight vampires. And I'm like, <laughs> right? <laughs> I laugh. And That's I'm fucking like, funny, mate. I know. And I, you know, do, because he's that guy. So I, I do a little yeah. something just to, you know, keep You know, if you edge. really want to see vampires, I got some pills. No, no, yeah, I'm make not. you see some vampires. I'll tell you what. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. Just, I start scratching my arm, thinking about what I have in my pocket that Johnny told me to not touch. Uh, oh no, no, Johnny just wants you properly medicated so that you can perform your tasks. That's all he cares. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Johnny, for he, looking uh, out yeah, for my he, health. No, nobody's trying to get you get get you off the stuff right now. There's, I mean, like, we don't need you going through withdrawals and shit. All right. So no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm, I I talk super fast. I do the Charlie Sheen, or whatever. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Right. All right. All so right. You guys uh, go wrong. Jump out of the plane uh, at the where you think you know is the appropriate place. Um, you're pretty skilled with that, so um, you get a good <laughs> idea. You, you looked at some triangulation in an old like uh, you know SAS book of how it explains how to jump, and you're like, yeah, this. Probably right where it happens. And uh, you guys jump. And, uh, you know, once you're out of the plane, you're just like, <whistles> it's just it's silent. It's just silent. Except for and, the, uh, the calm this before is... the storm. Oh. Yeah. And uh, believe it or not, the weather in the North Sea is is pretty, pretty calm. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not really that bad, you know, at this time of day and uh, for the season that it is. And so you guys splash down in the water relatively. Yeah, I'd say you're probably right about. Uh, why don't everybody give me an athletics roll? 
Okay. Can you remind me? Cool. Oh. Athletics? I know. What do we need to roll? Uh, a d6. Just one d6? We're going to spend a point of <laughs> athletics. Or. We don't have a bot? No. I'm going to, to, to spend a point as well. Four. I got seven. As well. I, I didn't think to spend a point, but four. Okay. Um, let's see what I got. Dan got a four. I, I got a five. A five. All right. You guys uh, seemingly, you know, all splash down relatively well. The rubber boat is there. Uh, you know, it, you're able to swim over to it. It's pretty calm. And you think you're probably somewhere around like a quarter of a mile away. You could see it off in the distance. And um, it's pretty quiet. You see there are a couple lights on different platforms. You can see there are three platforms. There's like a lower platform, a mid platform, and a, t and a high platform. Some big cranes hanging off the top of it. Um, and you can see some uh, some burn off of some sort of smokestack that is obviously um, from a power source hmm. or so forth. Um, and sure enough, you can see right on the side of the platform on the top level at the one on the uh, eastern, or I'm sorry, on the western edge of the platform, you can see the black helicopter still there. That's oh, our, we're still we're still going to steal it. That's our limousine out. Yep. I'm like, um, did you see any? You see any? Tesla, I think a great idea might be to go secure the helicopter. Oh yeah, you betcha, man. Well, uh, I begin Lady. to work my way through. Oh, but remember what Johnny said. First and foremost, we got to get down underneath and get charges at the supports of that to take it out. We got to do it. Right. Yeah. Well, first things first. And then we leave on hell. No, we, we still got to look for vampires, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and then we immediately leave on the helicopter. I'll be waiting in the helicopter for you guys when you're ready. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you guys make a, a brief, uh, brisk swim uh, mm -hmm. to. Uh, refreshing. Yeah, refreshing swim over to one of the pylons. And you can see they're big. They're probably a good. You know, twenty to thirty feet around. Do we have enough mu munitions to take uh, those fuckers out? No, no kind of fucking way. And you're like, you know, I mm. thought that you know it might be enough. This is much more structurally sound than. Uh, do we have enough to take out two, two of them and put it off balance and let it? You think that possibly with all the charges, you might be able to blow one. One. That's not really like, good. Um, no, that, well, that, that's that's not gonna. Uh, there, there's four pylons. Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we got four. We have four pylons. If we blow one, that's not gonna be enough pressure to probably tip the the fucking thing over. Yeah. Um. Unless, unless Byron, do you think based on my demolitions knowledge, which is pretty substantial, mm -hmm. um. Do, do I think that it, it would be enough to basically crash this thing? Do you think the only way that you would be able to do it is if you were somehow be able to drill into the center of the columns? Which, uh, no. you, just, you just don't have that equipment. <laughs> that's that's going to take uh, shit that I don't even have. Not um, even with Johnny's preparedness. Does he have like a black and decker? Like a zzzz kind of... Yeah, that's not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drill in like a, a really long bit. Three quarter of an inch hole. Uh, like, you know... No, it's like so however, 15 feet. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like, okay, change the plans. However, I, I, I get I, you. You let me get on the inside of this thing. I can guarantee that everything inside's gonna be super fucked up if I use this much. I can get you on the inside. So you mentioned <laughs> that there was smoke. Uh, that, look, there's smoke. There's probably something combustible. So if you combine your charges with whatever their fuel source is, probably that's going to not work out for them, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, all right. Are there I'm any gonna, vessels? We we we, we got to go get that helicopter first. Make sure nobody gets out. So you can see one of the one of the pylons, not the one that you're at, but one over has a ladder that leads up to it looks like a hatch in the bottom side on the on the far side of the bottom. I'm like, all right, Lily, Love you're probably going to be up first. Yeah, probably. Um, 
<laughs> out of nowhere, you hear this loud, like, uh, it almost sounds like metal sliding against metal. And uh. you look up and you see, like, this, like, hatch just, like, slides open. And something falls out of the bottom of the uh, platform. And it just comes sailing down. And it, it looks like, like almost like a shark cage. And it's got something in it. And it just slams into the water and then sinks below the surface. I'm going to go and you down. You can see a cable, a cable that leads up into the interior of the, uh, the platform. Church, oh, but no. Oh, just don't you want to climb that cable so bad? I yeah. really want. I. Oh. And it sits there for a couple of moments. You're like, oh, shit. You know, whatever. And then you start seeing, you hear like a boom. And you can see that the cable is going up. Oh, go, go Lily, go. No, 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 I can't. Slow. No. I, no, I, <sighs> what the fuck? I, I tried to, to see so, what's in man. the cage, and, Byron. With, within cage? a moment, within a moment or so, you see what looks like I said, it looks kind of like a shark cage. Yeah. And it comes up out of the water, and you can see there's somebody in it. And uh, you can just hear him coughing, spitting water, all that stuff. And it just slowly is getting raised into I, I, the bottom, I, like on a winch. I wonder if they have an underground base. Maybe, or maybe it was just no, 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 they're torturing this dude. The, yeah, the, 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 they're yeah. dropping this guy they're, down they're and fucking dropping him. him into the water and pulling him out. Does he look familiar to any of us? Does he look like uh, anybody that we would recognize like at all? Hey, it's, it's too hard to tell from the distance. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go climb up the ladder. Is he wearing any gear at all, or what is he wearing? It looks like he's wearing like a t-shirt and some ripped-up pants. Oh, you're right. My fault. All right, so okay. I, I had pictured him in a wetsuit with like a snorkel. And, Right. Yeah, it's just, it's like I said, it's a little too early in the day. There's not really a lot of light. So it's very difficult to see, like, a, you know, like any discernible features. So it's a uh, pattern. The, the cage itself, can I ask, is it like a silvery metal or is it painted or what does it look like? Um, it looks like a silvery metal. I wonder if it's a vampire in a vampire silver cage. I mean, let's go find out. And that, is this a drop, <laughs> raise, drop? How, uh, Byron, does it happen again? Because you said we were a ways away. It just so comes I, down and then it starts, it slowly goes back up. And, and doesn't come back down right after that. No, right it's just down. one drop and then it goes back up. We established that vampires don't show up in mirrors, correct? Or did we? Mm. We, we, we have don't no know idea. That. The, lady at the, the lady at the bed and breakfast showed up, but we didn't establish it. No, we haven't. Um, yeah. If I have like a signal glass, like for reflecting light, can I look at it real quick and look at the guy in the in the uh, cage? Do I see a guy? Uh, you talking about like a um, a night scope? No, like a, a reflector, like I could use to flash the sun at an emergency craft to like hail it down. No, you really can't get any. You could look. You could have a night scope though. Uh, I was looking for some sort of mirror or reflective thing to look at him with. So that okay, no mirror. All right. No, you'd have like a light intensifier, but that's really it. Um, um, it's a quick too question. difficult to, uh, to get my, a look. On my camera shit, does he show mm -hmm. up because of the, the mirrors involved with the camera, right? So does, does do, I, I don't know. I just, yeah. He, mm -hmm. He's there. You can see the guy in it when you look through like your camera lens. Okay. I would assume you guys probably have like one of those big like ocean cameras. Yeah. That's like, yeah, yeah. you know, water, water protected for depth and stuff like that. I so should it get out. lost, you would be recording it and stuff like that. And they just There's dropped no him down. He went, how, mm -hmm. how deep did he go before they started bringing him back up? Maybe 20 feet. So Ooh. long enough to be scary if he doesn't have gear. Long well, enough to be scary if you didn't know how to breathe water. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a mermaid. He just got suddenly opened and dropped like 50 feet into the ocean. And and he's still standing in the cage or is he like... No, he's on his knees and he's like down just like okay. puking water. Okay. So okay. Well, we got so a friend. So, 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 so and as the cage as the cage goes back in, you see, and the the hatch shuts. Johnny, uh, should we consider him a necessary survivor? Yeah. Uh, 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 only if he if it doesn't ruin the actual mission. You got to figure right. And if he's not a vampire, got it. Well, hmm. it's hard to know what he is. We'll ask I, him. I, <laughs> we only have to be honest or something. 
Mm -hmm. plan, True. Plan A1 is to get the explosive somewhere inside where Tesla says it'll essentially kill everyone through compression. Is that it? Yeah, probably. If, if they're on the inside, they're probably dead. They're definitely going to die if they're still in there. Okay. Because you did so, study the whole plan, right? You studied the whole place, so you know where, like, the fuel tanks are or other things, right? I should be, I, I should be able to figure that out. Yeah, you do realize really quickly that the the layout of the outside looks similar to the plans, but it does not look like it follows the plans exactly. Yeah. The, the strength of the pylons is dramatically different. In other words, the, 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 they were sort of ready for this sort of thing, which is understandable. Um, I believe Red Lily was going to climb up the ladder. I am climbing Ooh. up the ladder. Yeah, so you're about halfway up the ladder, um, and you can get to the top. Uh, is anyone else going up the, the ladder at this point? Are we using stealth to go up the ladder? I, that's assumed. Yes. Okay. Um, what is stealth again? Infiltration? Yes. All right, I have a three infiltration. Do I think that's enough to follow Lily? No. No? <laughs> I have an eight. Yeah, okay. All right. I mean, so uh, <laughs> I, 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 it just means his, your, it just means your infiltration is going to give out before her infiltration. Right. All right, I'll let Lily go first, and we'll just wait until she gives a signal. So one thing, too, is you do not see any guards or anything walking around like on any of the catwalks. Or any of that when you were kind of from the uh, waterline as you're looking. At it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like slide open this little hatch or okay. just peek up above the ladder, see okay. if anyone's around. Yep, you kind of you kind of lean out like this because the ladder's like really at like almost at the edge of the railing. So you kind of mm -hmm. lean out to look up this side of the the platform itself, um, and you can see all the way up to the upper platform and right on the edge, hang out over the thing. You can see, like, it looks like a box, and it's kind of pointed up. Do you have military science? I do. I have two in military science. You recognize what it is very quickly. It's an anti... <laughs> it's an anti-missile system. It's a SAM launcher. Holy fuck. Well, the missiles aren't going to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very much interested in protecting that oil, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna make it's... sure the area is clear, and I'm gonna climb up. Okay. You climb up, uh, and so the ladder it just goes actually like through like a square hatch. It doesn't actually lead up to the bottom. So there's okay. like three there's like three tiers. There's a bottom tier, yeah. like a mid tier that's kind of offset, and then the other upper tier. So you can see the lower tier and the upper tier are almost like one over top of the other. And then the middle tier is like over. Yeah. And so this ladder actually goes up. Uh, it goes past the lower tier and goes up to the top. Okay. So it doesn't go to the bottom tier. At all. It looks like we're starting at the top. <laughs> the hatch that you saw open on the bottom. Goes, was on the bottom tier. All right. Okay. Um, you make your way up to the top end. Uh, there is a, uh, the ladder comes up just maybe 15, 20 feet away from where that sand launcher is. And mm -hmm. it comes up into a, uh, like a cargo holding area. And you can see the other 15 to 20 feet this way. You see the, the black Sikorsky helicopter just sitting there on, uh, on the deck. Of the helipad. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's clear and then wave everybody up. Yep. Okay. Right. Um, you do not see any activity at all up here. You uh, listen. Are there like any cameras or anything? Uh, it's got to me. It's got no. to me. There's almost no security cameras. You don't see anything. Well, actually, there isn't almost no security cameras. There are no security cameras. Uh,. Guys, I, 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 th those are the sorts of things that Evan would be keenly aware of, like really focusing on what are their protective, you know, or, uh, motion detectors and whatever. Yeah, I was going to say to you that nothing. while we're going up, we'd look to see 
what is the construction? Is this like a 1960s oil rig, 1970s, 80s? 70s. It looks like a 1970s construction that's been updated. It's built in 77. The original decommissioned, structure. yes, decommissioned in 77. Yeah. But it's it's had some obvious upgrades. All right. Um, if there's any question, Johnny will go up last. If you, um, but are, do we all get up there, or how do you want to do it? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can all rendezvous on the top thing. You can see across the far side area as you guys get up there. You can see like a little like dish and some barometer. It looks like some weather equipment on the far side away from you. Um, and you can see a um, small building over by the helipad and also a small communications dish uh, to the right of the weather station. Johnny, should a couple of us clear the uh, the building over there to make sure we've got access to the helicopter? Yeah, and I'm sorry, out of character, I just want to ask, I mean, do we see the main tower of the oil rig, or is it just... It doesn't look like there really is a main tower. Okay. There's like a little, a little building that's to the left and a small building to the right, and then like a weather station on the other side. Um, there is a hatch like it's in the side of like this pylon that looks like it leads, you would assume leads down. So it seems like there. there's room for It's like, it's like spawn. one of those old school hatches, like with the little wheel that like yeah. turns. Where's the, like dude that was in the, where's the dude that was in the box? Do we have a sense of that? Where, where yeah. the box went to the cage and all that? Yeah, it probably directly, but not too far from directly below the helipad on the, so like, Probably. It's like down in the structure somewhere. Yeah, it's uh, so there are three levels. Like I said, the bottom level, the top level, and the middle level. Are there and any so, in the book of the, of the whole place that we get to just look at? Because I can think of a lot of ways this could look. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Give me one second and I can get you something. I should have prepped. I'm going to reopen my uh, Discord as well. I forgot. <laughs> Shit. You forgot to reopen your Discord. Nice. Wow. I, I just looked up 1970s oil rig. Every picture that came up was terrifying, and half of them were on fire. So. Nice. Was uh, it on fire, or is it just like the power? No, fire and explosions, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> it's foretelling that Tesla has visited all of these. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Tesla was here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The way I'm picturing it, per what Jason said, is that there's probably like a building embedded underneath the deck that the hatch goes into, and then that somehow there's a lower deck where the guy in the silver cage got plopped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that works for everybody, I, I can go for it. It's some oh, shit go. like that, right? Like, got it. Some such uh, thing. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, Evan, I think you're right. Um, yeah, I think probably Lily, and perhaps I should go first because we're the two that are quietest, and see if we um, can make it all the way over to the hatch and clear the building. Mm, that's a good point. Because I, 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 I do have one one point of infiltration, so I could spend one point, but... I've got a couple as well. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we, we can mostly, like, at least for a little bit. Doctor, do you have infiltration as well? I'm looking. I don't... On the right-hand side, I think? Yep. Is it my far right? Mm-mm. I have preparedness, but not infiltration. All right, uh, 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 is, I will, Great, I think I'll ask you guys, do you guys want to go? Uh, if you want to go, we can all go. If you yeah, rather So, Byron, real quick, is there an opportunity, yeah. given that we're all focused and we're all looking, can I use some sense trouble here? I've got like five uh, sense trouble, and I just, I'm, he, Evan's paranoid to begin with about everything, right? So, like, can That's he... That's what Johnny loves about it. Yeah, I have, I have points in notice and in um, sense trouble as well. Yeah, I've got eight points in sense trouble. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, yeah, you're there's... basically that's, like that's appropriate. I, I, you, Admiral Wackhart's like, oh, it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. Yeah. Uh, so in the Night's Black Agents text, uh, Facebook message chat. I oh, nice. 
It was it was the easiest. Oh, the Facebook message chat. Okay. Yeah, the Facebook message chat. I was able to get it in there quick, without having to like cut, paste, copy, mm -hmm. all that stuff. I apologize. I should have had oh, a. Okay. I'm logging in. Picture of that. Ethier. I wish you could just like share my screen, but it just doesn't work. Oh, that's sweet. That's a great I picture. Can on Discord, but. Yeah, I know. I can on Discord, but I'm not on that. Yeah. Okay. And are we on the very top top? You are on the very top top. So For if you stream. see where like the the two lights are on the very top, almost in the center, uh, right underneath that first tower, you're right there. So the helicopter would be like that black area to your left. That's in front of the cranes. Thanks, Dan. I was going to say, I was like, oh, there's two of them today. Twice out. Oh. That's like the third tonight tonight, by the way, that we've had Jinx, Dr. Mitchell. <laughs> nice. All right. Great mind. Um, nice. Thank it's a turn. little bit. Great minds. All right. Uh, let's all sneak across in a very uh, non-Pink Pantherish way to the um, <laughs> to the hut. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Nice. You, but, um, can't tell me, you can't tell me to not Pink Panther this. Bullshit. I totally am. And we all scoot across. Like hiding right behind a pipe that's way too big to hide behind. Right. Right. Byron, we're sure as we came up that the dude was raised up and is no longer in the cage, or is he still hanging underneath the building in the cage as far as we know? The whole cage itself went up in right. inside the platform. Okay. Okay. That silhouette it's clear those little rig is really Is what? I love this silhouette uh, underneath the, the rig. Yeah. In the cage. This is an awesome photograph. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. That's out of the director's handbook. I sure. can see right where the nuke should have hit, too. Right there. I know. Right. Right. Um, nuke should hit. Yeah. <laughs> if only, if only I could get that. If only I could get that nuke. If only no. Johnny shakes his head at you, Tesla. <coughs> no tactical nukes, really. Right. I'm, I'm very disappointed myself. So yeah, you make it to the thing, and you're pretty sure you're relatively unseen. You could probably get over to. The hatch all right check the hatch for alarms um you do not see any kind of outward alarm system at all you look for like using tradecraft and kind of scope it out and you don't even see like any pressure switches any alarms nothing this makes the no best sense. 1970s technology can provide yeah but it makes right. no sense no just... you see update i mean like this door has been updated it's been painted it's been you know kept up because that means it's north sea it's getting battered by weather and salt water and stuff the, like that. The it's security system is the salt water. It's in good water. shape. It's not rusted or anything like that. It just doesn't, there does not appear to be any kind of sensor or anything on the door at all. And right. if I have my, my, my knife out and I gesture to Lily to open the hatch. You open the hatch, I'll have my knife out. I'm like a 75 <laughs> year old man, I have no strength. I'm just a badass. I, I can't open everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an old man with wrinkled face. You know this. <laughs> is there any sense I'll trouble, Byron? Hatch. Byron, is there any sense trouble for those of us who have it? Um, so you really don't get a, a sense of trouble, which makes so it so much one worse. Thing, one thing does occur to you though. What? And so, if you were building a site and you were going to protect it from something. So obviously the SAM launcher would be to protect against any incoming aircraft. Because that's an air, that's an air to air, or mm -hmm. base to air type missile system. Um, the helicopter is there. There's no guards walking about or anything like that. So you would think right away that they, if there's any threats that they're expecting, they're expecting threats that those security measures wouldn't stop. Ah, so like no like reason us. to no reason to have a camera system if the shit you fear doesn't show up on fucking camera. No, Evan, it's not like your sense of trouble doesn't go off. It's more like there's this constant blaring siren no. of trouble. No, and <laughs> what, what strikes me, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Um, 
they're afraid of the vampires, I think, right? Like, I, I call those those observations out. I kind of feel like maybe they're not the bad guys here. we got to be careful. Don't we don't want to blow everyone here up. They might not be the bad guys. They might have information we need. They we should unleash. detain the bad guys. Or the potentially bad guys. Remember, they unleashed a long, uh, dormant vampire, which is probably Dracula. They used blood and, and humans to feed him. Um, I do not get the feeling that they really are kinds of people you want at your house. What we're missing, though, is the why. And, and, and my contact could have given us that. And um, I'm so sorry I was so high and so hey. absent. <laughs> out of character. I'll just say that when we were doing the book, and in character, while you were in your drug-crazed phase or uh, fugue or whatever, what we what we thought happened, at least what we conjectured was, is that it's pretty clear that these guys have these multiple levels and that, I forget the right term, but essentially, if you, you get these upgrades in your credit until you might be immortal. And so right. it seems as if passages, these guys are all on board and they're trying to use Dracula for their own ends to become even more powerful themselves. And we know though, or we think though, that although they think they're duping Dracula, Dracula's probably duping them. That's what was the takeaway. So just, just yeah. put that out there. I totally remember that, Johnny. Okay. Okay. So you see, uh, so who's opening the door? Lily or Lily's opening the door? Yeah, Lily's right. bugged me my, my screen. I'll take okay, a yeah. tactical so position you, back. You sit there and Lily, you grab a hold of the thing and it twists, it twists relatively easily. Like it, it definitely seems like it has some sort of mechanical help to it. Like it's not just a, you know, physical wheel. There's some sort of uh, argument of electronics mm -hmm. that allow it to open with relatively little force. And you spin it open and it, it swings open. There is a ladder that leads down. Give it a uh, sniff. What does it smell like? Uh, it smells like very fresh air. Mm. It doesn't smell musty or stale or anything like a disused in, in close space. Watch out. All right. So you just, you, are you on the ladder? You're just kind of sliding? Just sliding. All right. Give me, very so that would be stealth. So give me a stealth roll. Stealth or infiltration? Yeah, infiltration. Give me an infiltration roll to slide down the ladder. Mm, we'll um, spend a point. Okay. I got another seven. All right. Nice. Yeah, you slide down the ladder, and uh, it ends in, like, a little room, and then there's a hallway that kind of leads around the corner. Um, and you can't see down the hallway from this vantage point of where you're at. I'll follow when she goes to click the thumbs up, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go slow. Um, I'm, I'm going to take my time as I go down. I'm going to try and go quietly. Okay. Sure. When you go down, go ahead and give me a uh, an infiltration roll. And remind me, if I want to roll I can die, I spend a point. Is that right? If so, you what? can. It's if optional. I to die, if I want to spend a point, then I roll a second die. Is that right? No, you just add that point to your spend. Yeah, you, you can spend roll. spend a point and then roll. You can All roll, right. and if you feel like you might fail, you can spend up to what you have left to augment your roll. To, as, as kind of like a bonus. Okay. Good. But you have to choose what you're going to spend before you yeah. roll the die. Mm. Um, Otherwise, was, you spend them, but they don't add. I'll spend one point. Okay. Up the table. Try <laughs> like, but you have a thirty-foot table. I rolled a two, so that's three. Okay. Uh, so you, Lily, you can hear like, uh, uh, Johnny's hands kind of like, <laughs> kind of squeaking on the metal as he slides down, but it's real quiet. Um, nonetheless, but it it's kind of like, yeah, he just kind of grabs a hold of it. I just kind of look up at him like, like all right. With man. my athletics, do I even need a roll? <laughs> If you make your athletics, then no, you can get down there because you can do some parkour shit and kind of drop down. Without, cool. I without just athletics. have to roll up my athletics. Yeah. You just kind of, like, uh, Dr. Mitchell just kind of, like, 
begins to come down the ladder and like steps on the wall and just puts both feet out and just kind of slides down both walls. It doesn't so, use the ladder at all. Uh, show what do I need? What do so, I need for this? Uh, just the athletics roll. No, I mean, what do I need to roll? Oh, I don't know. A D six. D six. Roll first. <laughs> and What's can... my winning? Four. I get to know that. I think four. Four. You Usually four. four typically. Unless Byron's mean. Yes. Four, but, but I have an eight in athletics. Yep. So you get to roll. So you can spend up to eight points. Okay, I'm gonna spend one. Okay. I rolled a four. Nice. You rolled a four, and then yeah. adding so, one makes it a five, or you roll yeah. a three, adding one makes a four. I, I rolled a four, adding okay. one. Adding one makes a five. So yeah, you're down. No, no problems whatsoever. All right. I um, it's at me this next, point, right? there's enough people in that space that uh, another person can't come down. I, I would remind. So on. when uh, when I'm we're moving. supposed to secure the the helicopter, right? Like Tesla, is that us? Because they're going down. Mm -hmm. The helicopter's right over there. We don't want that to go away. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my comms. Like, you want me and Ev to secure the uh, helicopter? Well, here's the only way up is from here. So, oh, we want you to stow the explosives in the right spot to blow the place up. That's that's a good point. All right, I'll cover the helicopter then. It's fine. <laughs> ah, right. the coveted position in the rear, Evan. No, no. I'll be back. I'm just going to kill any motherfucker that might fly that away. You'll thank me later. I promise. Because uh, Byron, um, you don't know Byron. Uh, is there, is there a way up to the helicopter right now, or no? Um, from down below, no. Uh, you can. It just looks like you have to go a little bit across the like a gangplank kind of oh, like. Uh, so I'm gonna be like, way. okay, uh, Evan, if you're sure you want to go alone. And like I said, there's a square building there, and then the helicopter's on the other side of it. But the square building is very small; it's only like ten feet wide. I'm sure I want to play. I, I'm sure I want to get off this fucking thing. So yeah, I, I'm gonna go. I, I will creep that direction and just keep okay. them informed on the comm as to what's going on. All right, I, I, I got I got a four to head down with the rest of the group after Lily okay. moves. All right, so Lily, you look around the corner and try to investigate what might be down the hallway. And you can see it goes about 15 feet and there seems to be some sort of like desk there uh, that is parallel to the walkway. So almost like a, a station of some sort. Mm -hmm. And you can see, like you see a guy turn, you can just see the edge of a clipboard as like you look and he just kind of <laughs> swings, swings out of view. All right, I'm gonna start heading down the hall. I'm gonna draw okay. my sword. <laughs> All right, you draw your sword. Uh, Tesla comes down the the ramp. Uh, Johnny, what do you do? Um, I will. Uh, you let Lily go, or do you follow Lily? I'm gonna follow Lily. Um, so just make room more room for Tesla and the others to come down. And I'm gonna have um, my uh, uh, knife in one hand. And I'm going to have the stake in the other. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, Lily, you get up to the edge of the thing and you mm -hmm. kind of glance around the thing and you can see he's facing away from you. He just seems to be wearing, he's wearing like a black overalls style thing. Is he's he all got by like himself? A, He's got like a, yeah, he's got like one of those like navy black SAS like beanie hats that's kind of like rolled up on the sides and he has a clipboard in his hands. He does have a sidearm. Uh, I'm going to put my sword away. He's all by himself, correct? There's he's all nobody by himself. Else around. Yeah, there's nobody uh, I'm going to slide up behind him and choke him out. Okay. Uh, give me a hand to hand roll. Uh, I'm going to spend two points. Is knife used considered hand to hand as well, or is it just no knives as weapons? Oh, it's just weapons. Bad. Okay, then I won't have any weapons. I'm sorry. Uh, that'll be an eight. An eight. So yeah, he's just sitting there, and all of a sudden you just like you just gank him, and like he's like trying to drag him back into the hallway. Yeah, with Johnny. he kind of tries <laughs> to struggle a little bit, and uh, Johnny, you're you're coming towards the thing, and you see Lily backing up, dragging his body. <laughs> I put the stick. <laughs> And 
juvenile system in the hand to hand if I can do that. Right. He's already unconscious. The, and you can is... see the the clipboard. The clipboard just kind of like drops to the ground. I his try arm, to... his arm's low, and it just drops to the ground. It doesn't make a lot of noise or anything. Take there's like a uh, <laughs> there's like a rubber a rubber matting that's laying on the oh, on the awesome. grates, so it's real quiet. Does uh, he have any so... does he have, uh, any badges or a pass on him that anything opens doors like keys? Uh, he does not. Okay. He does so not. we're gonna so, we're gonna take his sidearm. He does have a. It looks like a military issue. Uh. Like British military special forces side. I'm just gonna put it uh, in my bag. <laughs> I'll use this later. So, are you choking him out like to death or no? Just unconscious. Unconscious. Okay, yeah. He goes down unconscious. And then I'll take, I'm good. I take a zip tie and I I zip tie his hands behind his back. Okay. I'm um, gonna basically drag him to the hole. Okay. And uh, like around the corner. Like around the corner. Anything else while she's doing that? I look in the room he was in. Okay. Is, you, there's a door. Grab the clipboard. There's, there's two the doors there. One, one to the like straight ahead on the other side of the desk, and then there was one that would have been like behind him. All right. I'll just wait for the rest of the group. But while I'm sitting there, and and I guess Lily's dragging the body, I'm going to be very quiet. I'm going to listen. Okay. Nice. Right. Um, you hear like some moving. Um. And kind of like clack, clack, as um like people talking, but you can't really. It sounds more like some carousing than it does anything else. All right, I am. Um, I'll put my hand in the hallway and signal that I hear at least two people, and I'll give a general direction if I know where it is. And if anybody's looking at me, then they'll know. If It'd be the door on the back side of the guard post. Okay, I'll, I'll point, and I'll just wait for everyone else to come up while we're doing that. After All right. I, after, I'm gonna like gag. I'm just gonna like stuff a sock in his mouth or something stupid. Right. <laughs> um, Evan. Well, so you sneak over to the helicopter, <laughs> and uh, you kind of whisk around the far side, and before you get completely behind the helicopter you could kind of see over the nose of the helicopter okay to where that building is because you go around the you go around like the where the flight side would be okay and as you're looking over the black helicopter it kind of has tinted windows and stuff like that but your head is just barely above the nose of the helicopter and you can see there's like a light on inside that little room right there yeah, yeah, in the building and there are itself. two guys two guys inside the room one, you see like a submachine gun kind of strapped across his chest, and he's wearing some sort of tactical gear. Oh, what about There's the other two ones? more guys in every... What I'm about sorry, the other Dan. one? I said, I'm sorry, go ahead, Evan. Um, Jason. No, just well, what about the other one? What the the this, so the one guy seems like he's the other one just looks like uh, like he's got uh, like a, same description I gave as the guy downstairs. So he's just wearing like uh, overalls and like a like an SAS beanie. Uh, but you can see them working. They're talking and kind of looking at some different things uh, in the in the room. Casual really interaction, work work day kind of interaction. Nothing like uh, the guy with the submachine yeah. guns authoritative. Okay, I, I would call this out to them on the comments. Yeah, you think like this could be like a control room of some sort, like a small control room on the top level. Johnny, I've got eyes on two contacts here in the building. Uh, one looks like he's pretty well armed. The other one, not so much. I'm going to move uh, to the point where I have a shot. You call it when it's time, and I'll take him down. Contacts? Isn't that two more people than you'd like to deal with, normal? Fuck off, Johnny. Isn't that two more people than you'd like to deal with? <laughs> I'm a super spy, just like uh, you. The I difference is... <laughs> well, there's a list of differences. We'll talk about it later, but yeah. I'm going to shoot them when it's time to shoot so, them. Just tell me. <laughs> I, I, I try okay, to find so, a good Okay, so... Uh, Something occurs to you, Johnny, as he tells you he's going to shoot these people in the room. Not now. And that is that if he's going to... Huh? Not now. I said he... Not now, right. On his but, mark. Yes. But if he was to take a shot, he wouldn't be able to shoot through the glass. It probably has some sort of, like, impact-resistant glass because of the fact that it's uh, made to withstand the sea. All right, I, I will say, uh, Evan, is it possible that there's impact-resistant glass between you and the two men? 
Right, which is why I'm... Um, oh, was, what, wait, what I meant was, I'm going to move a bit closer so I can open the door and I'll kill him at closer. Johnny, Jesus, I fucking... Wait, wait, I, I take his lead. I'm going to skulk close <laughs> to the point where I, ha I can I'm get to the door. All right, so I see. So you're going to open the door and then deal with those two men, which are two more than you usually like to deal with. And then... But when I give the signal, got it. Thank All you right, for your mentorship. And I will... Uh, I'm sorry, what? Thank you for your mentorship and structural, look at the clipboard. structural awareness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to look at the clipboard. Okay, you look at the clipboard. It is like a sign-in roster. Who signed in? And when uh, did they sign in? And who signed out? <laughs> All right, so all of them have signed. Uh, let me see here. So um, all were signed in and signed out. Um, the first one that's on this list, so it looks like this is a relatively new list. Doesn't look like, you know, it's been around for very long. So you see actually multiple times, uh, you see a Joaquin Sealman who has signed in. Okay. And it says, uh, observer. Ooh. Then below that, you see, uh, uh, MD JLD and it says draws D R A W E S and it says MD F R C S next to his name and next to that it says Seward Asylum Asylum S E W A R D sort of Seward is that what you're saying? Uh -huh. Yeah, Seward. Seward like S, S E W A R D. Seward, like Dr. Seward from Renfield and all that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Below that, you see an H Kanaz. K E N A Z. And also below that, a C McConnell. Is any of this called Wait, out in the com at all? C, C McConnell. Mm -hmm. Like none of those, none of those names really stand out. Other than yeah, that. I was gonna say. Whatever. So nope. give me, give me one second because I need to make a quick. I'll be right back. I was waiting for the speed drive. Sorry. But well, the FRCS is an exit exam for a surgical subspecialist. Right. In, in the the Fellowship of Royal Colleges. And the surgeons. We're taking a thirty-second. Right back. Like <laughs> a thirty second break. I love it. Uh, Byron's like, I gotta pee, and it's like, somehow that happens in thirty seconds. Uh, um, I, I, I guess, uh, when he gets back, uh, when he gets back, I'm gonna have to tell tell him that I need to uh, start planting some some uh, some bombs. Uh, but I, I, we haven't seen anything sensitive yet. I don't think. No, I, I think you need Not to really. plant a bomb on the on the building that those on the are. SAS. <laughs> That's a good point. Trouble is, yeah. it's really close to the helicopter. That we would create take out the the anti missile. That's true. That's, being prepared to take out the we, same yeah, launcher. Yeah, we is a we, great we should just disable it quietly. Like unplug yeah. its shit. You, you should unplug it. Yeah, from the internet or whatever it's plugged into. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla's all about internet. Um, yeah. At At least in this time period, we we, we refer to it as AOL. Well. <laughs> Yeah, and then when we go to leave, they can use it to shoot down our helicopter. No, nope. the, the camera, the camera pans to the one dying guy as he hits the button, and they exactly. the, the anti-air system as you're, <laughs> as you're flying off in the then, fucking helicopter. And then it, it goes black, and it just has a, in, in letters of flame. It says it's just TPK. It's just like Peek. yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, did wah. I miss it? Did we all die? Or? Well, <laughs> not yet. Okay. So yeah, that's what you see on that. Um, Why would a surgeon be here? Yeah, because they've got they've got a specimen and they're trying to study it. They're trying to figure out how they can <clears> harness <throat> it. I bet you, I bet you anything they've they made progress. Think back to that thing that you fought in the market. Maybe that's it, it, that's representative of what they've achieved by studying these things. Or maybe I'm totally wrong, and they're just in cahoots with them. 
wondering if that bulletproof glass is also soundproof. Hmm. I'm, I'm I, Spain, you prefer, so do we actually know any of this? Is is Lily reading this? <laughs> yeah, that, that was my question earlier. Is if any of this I, is like I typical. didn't read any of this. I right. looked no, at it. This, so this is her looking at it. I would not okay. say that then. Obviously, I'll just pass the clipboard back. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, so uh, as I see pertinent places to to place uh, bombs, I guess I'm going to do that and start wiring them up. Sure. Well, you haven't really moved from the hallway too much, so I know I've, I've been waiting for these these, these fucking slow pokes to get a move on. <laughs> they're, 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 it's like oh, I got, I got to strangle this person. It seems to be like cordoned off almost into like small like square rooms on the interior of this. Wait, you said there was a door behind. The- yeah, there's a door behind the guard post, which is where uh, you uh, Johnny heard the voices. They're kind of muffled. And then there's also a door directly ahead from there. So do you want me to go towards the voices or not? Uh, I, I point for you to go towards the door ahead where there's nobody there. If we can bypass some people, I think we should. I'll uh, slowly open the other door. Lily is okay. Like, really? I can't. I, don't, I could choke him out. <laughs> exactly. So from there, there is... Everyone's fidgety when I start killing people in it looks like a. It looks like a... Uh, like a, you would almost say like a prisoner process area. There's like a thing. There's like photo. There's a, um, a camera sitting for like <laughs> taking like driver's license photos type thing. Good take my uh, picture. Set up. Oh, See, there's like a, there's there's like a, uh, a, a a a measuring device on the wall, um, and so forth. And there's also a stairwell that goes down from there. So I think we should deal with the people up here before we go downstairs. Okay. All right. I I gesture for you then if you want to come back. And there is a there is a door directly off of that. Oh, so there's a stairway down and a door in there. There's a stairway down and a door. We'll close that door. I say, uh, you want to listen to the other door? Sure. I will listen. Okay, so this is what the one directly behind the guard yes, post, the one where the voices were coming. Okay, yeah, you can hear like some muffling, and like I said, occasionally you hear like a clacking sound and some like different like noises. The AK forty seven or the clacking. Really weird. Or... No, like a clacking of like two things striking each other. Uh, I will Metallica? slowly open the door. Okay. Uh, you slowly with my, uh, with my gun draw. Sure. You slowly open the door. The door opens in. Okay? And as you slowly open the door, uh, you realize that there are two guys in here, and there's a pool table. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just like, oh, fuck. Yeah, this is getting That's fantastic. I'm going to mute myself and just laugh uh, out loud. And the one, the one begins to turn his head as you open the door. Uh, I'm going to stop him from turning his head with my silenced pistol. Okay. <laughs> I'm just taking him out. All right, that's a shooting roll. Yep, uh, let me spend one point. Uh, he's, I'm scared. I've now rolled three sixes in a row. Yes, uh, it's gonna be a seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hail Santa! So, yeah. Hail Santa! <laughs> yeah, you, it's literally like a double tap. Just tap, tap, and the guy just like crashes. He like he like falls onto the pool table backwards. And like blood pours out over. I'm gonna point my pistol at the other guy. Quiet now. <laughs> and he's just like, do, "Do you want to put the cue down?" And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wave Johnny in. All right. I, I step in. Um, I'll immediately take his arms and um, zip tie him behind his back. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna is anyone else coming? Yeah, uh, I'll head in. I'll let everyone see, file in all clothes. You can see the there's like a there's like a half drank bottle of uh, like fifth of vodka sitting on like the little side table uh, with a pack of cigarettes, and they've obviously been drinking. This guy smells like vodka. We'll wait for Doctor uh, Mitchell and Tesla to come in. Okay, uh, we'll close the door. All right. <laughs> um, set him down. Uh, is there a chair in there? Uh, yeah, there's like two pool chairs. All right, sit him down, and then I zip tie his ankles to the chair legs. 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna search the rest of the room. Does he have any rank <laughs> or any ins- insignia on him? Or he does not. He has no recognition insignia on him at all. Is he like is he wearing like blue jeans and a t-shirt or something? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. A civilian. He looks like civilian. Uh, you would I mean, guess possibly. I mean, he's he's built, haircut. so he looks like he's probably a guard, military <laughs> style haircut. And the guy who's dead on the floor, same. same. So these guys are probably uh, hired. And the guy with the clipboard, military uniform, or also? Yeah, military uniform also, but like more overalls than anything else. So okay. possibly civilian. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, and I'll let Lily's doing a search, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to search the rest of the room. Tesla okay. and the doctor and whoever yeah, wants looks to. Like, yeah, it looks like a rec room. Um. Do we want to ask him any questions? I don't think he knows a whole lot. Do you? That's How many... why I kept him alive. I think we should. All right. Whoever's best with it, I, I could start. I, I will, uh, if I think it'll make a difference, I've got uh, some human skill or personnel skills. I'll ask yeah. him how many people uh, are on this, this rig. Yeah. Um, so you can use reassurance. That's like one of your, one of your things. I yep. promise he won't let me kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So So yeah, he says um at, at current moment I can't give you an exact number. He's like typically there's around 12 personnel with doctors and Three. visitors. So how 12 personnel plus doctors? How many doctors? Uh I'm not sure. I've been off duty since yesterday. Were you here when they brought the person in the helicopter? I was. Did you see what did you see coming off the helicopter? Uh, there was a woman and another woman in uh, he says uh Do you have a photograph the, of the of the witch? I don't know that you have a photograph of her. Okay. I'll ask him to describe her and see so. if Okay. Yeah, she fits that description. I mean, we would have a, a photo of her uh, using the dude's body to give to the vampire. That's Do true. you really want to show him that photo? I mean, that. I'm not saying we should show him that photograph, but we could crop it to be just Exactly. Her. We could crop it. I mean, well, you probably haven't cropped it, though, is what I'm saying. I'm just right. saying we would have right. a picture so of her. On the iPhone, I, I expand it out so that so only sees her face and not the bloody body next to it. <laughs> I, I did take he puts his hand body. over it. He puts his thumb over that part. <laughs> I did take a whole bunch of telephoto shots. Have you seen this dude? Yeah, Have you, you seen did, this guy? You did, yeah. This you guy. take a lot of telephoto <laughs> shots. I'm, so, crush- I'm crushing you. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah. Right. Was, he yeah. says uh, the, there was a woman with her. Uh, I, I don't know. We just we just call her Kay. Hmm. All right. What else? You know, what else do you, you know? Anything that we'd want to know? What else do you know that's interesting? He's like, I believe she works for some sort of European uh, Interpol, I think, okay. or law enforcement. I was thinking that means that she like, doesn't bathe as much. But all right, all right. Um, What's the purpose of this facility? I'm not exactly sure. My job is just be a guard. What were you told to look out for? Intruders? In Oops. the middle of the ocean? Uh, no, I don't really Where ask questions. <laughs> All right. Put a sock in his mouth. And, and like, I, I'm not really paid to ask questions. Put a sock in his mouth and zip tie the sock into his mouth. Not not so that it hurts, but so he can't get it out. Yeah. You probably don't have a sock, but you like you could put his like beanie. Uh, the one guy like had that. Beanie in his mouth. The one guy oh. had the little like. The stocking or, or, or like, Actually, or, or, or like a balaclava or something. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, Lily, you want to grab this two socks of the dead guy? We might need him. Uh, I mean, so, <laughs> so like, dead guy socks. You, undo, you like take the time to unlace his boots and take it. Well, no, I'm just gonna kill this guy. He's seen us. That is true. He's he's dead. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't ask questions. Wait, no, I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm gonna uh, stab him. I don't want to waste ammo. Yep. Man. So you you basically just take his head off with a Japanese style swing. Basically, 
that uh, would be... I, if I think she's doing for a headshot, I back up because I don't get blood on me. A shogun, a shogun would be proud. <laughs> You All definitely right. want to back up if she's swinging a sandwich. Is it like Kill Bill where the blood's just like... <laughs> yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah, it's like a, it's like a Tarantino wall. movie. It's just, <laughs> like his body just kind of goes like this and blood shoots yeah, out of his thing. Yeah. And falls out. <laughs> if she cleans the blood off her knife or her sword, I say, door or stairs, Lily? Door. All right. Clear this level before we go down. I open the door as quietly as I can and... Uh, I'll uh, grab the other body if I can, if I can lift him, and I'll drag him in here too. The guy's still alive, and uh, close the door. Okay. All, all right. But you know what? He, his legs aren't zip tied, are they? Uh. All right. I'll just zip tie his shoes together, or his legs together. Okay. I, thought, I thought we killed him. We killed uh, him. The, the first guy. Oh. Okay. Was just unconscious. He didn't see us, so I don't care if he lives. And it, but if we can put it in the door room with the door closed, he's less likely to make noise people can hear. So. If you've seen my face, there's no reason for you to be alive. <laughs> Shit. <The rest> of <laughs> Remember us that. This <laughs> <laughs> Noted. This group <laughs> Johnny makes a mental note to run away from Lily first. Yeah. <laughs> when I get taken over by mind control, I would just run. <laughs> That's the oh. second mental note. Oh, why did you say that so Byron can hear it? Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't pretend like he hasn't thought that. <laughs> I can what pretend. The, what, what, Not what? anymore now. I know what you're talking about. Are you wearing your butthole right. shirt? I just noticed that. I am wearing my butthole shirt, thanks. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Wow, uh, you're wearing your butthole mighty nice today, Jason. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I love this butthole. I like, it. I like the way it's sphinctered. Okay, nice butthole shirt. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice bottle. All right. So, speaking of buttholes, so uh, Evans begins to pucker a little bit because not only does he see the two dudes in the in the office, but you see another guy comes out of another building that was kind of a small building to the to the right side by the Sam launcher. And he comes across and walks over to and goes through a door into that little building. Like the three of them are talking. Uh huh. Um, does so he, now that all three of them are. Is there. he? So there are two things, Byron. So one, I the mm-hmm. Sam launcher's near me, so I, I'm trying to make my way. It's straight. on the other side of the. It's on the other side of the um, thing. Uh, so if you were making all... your way towards the Sam launcher, you just would have ran straight into this guy. No, he so came from that direction. Okay, so I I would like to make my way there. But okay, if I, if I see people, uh, I'm. Uh, is he walking with urgency? Uh, no, he's just walking. Just like um, does it seem to be not an alarm or anything like that? Just kind of this normal saunter you would expect. Okay. From uh, from somebody. What's his? What's his and he walks in the control room in a. T- what's his mode of dress? Him. Another just worker? Or uh, what? he's wearing tactical gear. Whoa. Okay. Tactical gear, and he has some sort of like uh, printout, like a computer printout, like you would expect to see, like a telegram or a message or something like that. On. <laughs> okay, um, I, I wait for. I, I would. I would whisper this as is, you know, to so that they're aware of what's going on, what I'm seeing. Um, I wait for a second. Is he coming out to deliver orders, as if to say, "Hey, you got to go to blah 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 and go pick some shit up" or something like that. Um, you're not really sure exactly what he's saying. Um, is but he pointing he at the to... thing? Is he like, ah, yeah, okay. he's like pointing at them, pointing at the message and like basically okay. like, you know, I might need, just, I, I might need backup. Of... I might need backup. I so, think mm-hmm. I call it uh, Tesla. If you're still up, up top, it looks like he's delivering some sort of orders or something. I'm not sure. Of it. So you I'm look, sure of it. you look, uh, uh okay. like you kind of, you kind of slink back to the, to the backside of the helicopter a little yep. bit, trying to get a different viewpoint of the thing. And you realize that one of the towers right there, like the crane is hanging out over the water and there's a cable like right there, just like hanging down. Is that where the cage would be? Like, Can I triangulate that? No, not where the cage would be. Okay. But uh, right at the, it's just like this, this crane kind of hangs out. And uh, while you don't have an egress point to go around the front, you think you could possibly use the cable to swing around the office to the other side of the platform. 
and basically get on the other side. Yeah, but do that. I think if I were, uh, all right. So here's here's what Evan's gonna do, because he had cocaine. Remember, he did. <laughs> he, had, he had cocaine. Uh, you start so, having visions of like these Remo Williams movies that you watched when you were. <laughs> I like where this is going. So if I'm gonna roll a d6, uh, fifty percent chance high roll, he's gonna swing like an idiot, and he rolls a four. He's got a nice. He's Charlie Sheen in it all the way. He's he's going. <laughs> I, I've got an idea. Okay, I don't elaborate. Sure I just can, go. Yeah, you're pretty sure you could easily swing to like where you guys came up. Uh, so because be you just gotta or... kind of go out and around like this. Yep. So that brings okay. me around to the other side where I can see more of what's going it on. It brings, yeah. Yeah, now you, well, now, so you kind of, you're kind of on the cable and you're looking at the control room as you just kind of swing by <laughs> like this. <laughs> I, I, as I'm going by. It, 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 swings, yeah. it swings around the other side of the building. And uh, give me a Roger athletics check. Uh, all right. So athletics, I have, t- I'm going to spend a cup. Uh, well, I have two. So I'm going to spend one. Wow. Wait. No. Got to clear that. Ooh. Yeah. So three. <laughs> Ooh, so th- okay. I spent one. So, I rolled yeah. a two, so I ended the. <laughs> so it's it's almost awesome, dude. So you're there, and you swing over, and you almost you almost have your leg on the railing, and then you realize that the cable's starting to swing back the other direction. You're like, shit, just, shit, am shit, I spinning? Shit, shit. Am I spinning? No, backwards? you're not spinning. You're just swinging back the other direction, and you're like, and then you see yourself swinging back around the other side. Am I gonna wind up hanging right in front of the fucking window or something terrible? No, no. You can see the guys. You can see the guys in the um, the control room again as you swing back past. Them. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. Going back around the other side. What are my and, options? Uh, here? Give me an athletics check to catch yourself on the other side. All right, I'm gonna spend my last point because that's probably the smart thing to do. Um, dice sets clear so it's zero all right <laughs> fuck two after a one point spend is there oh, a, one so why they're gonna hate me so much more byron but that's fine uh, so i you're welcome fall into the water and so you swing over there and you're like no you're like you're like trying to catch your leg over there and like you don't catch that <laughs> railing either and so you begin to swing back this <laughs> And once again, only this time, you didn't really build up enough momentum since swaying back and forth. Now you're kind of swing over, and it stops right about halfway. And you can see the guys in the, the control room, and you're just kind of hanging. All right, I'm going to make the best out of this. Um, <laughs> uh, is, there, is there like a, can I use trade craft or something like that to read their lips? Since I've got a great view, since I'm hanging right in front no, of them. No, I will give you a, a plus one. Uh, I will give you a free trade craft spend because you're now looking directly. You have a very good line. <laughs> I am such an idiot. I promised my next character will be slightly less idiotic, but I'm. I, don't know, I'm, I fucked this one up. I'm going to do this. Can I lower myself while I'm reading their lips just a little? <laughs> yeah, you can just like. You just start like. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have like the the remote control like from the the thing in your hand. It's just like yeah. and it's like it's just silently going mm, <laughs> like lowering you down. Hey, that poor That's bastard the in the shark cage is going talking, down. We see out the window, just go. <laughs> no, because there's no window there. But you <laughs> you would that'd be great. Like if it had a little portal when you see Evan going down on the thing. <laughs> what, what, what does my tradecraft get? Me? Uh, what, what's going on in there? All right, so yeah, so you managed to make out what they're saying, and he's saying something about a notification from Ring. Ring R I N G, I think. That's yep, what I R-I-N-G. think. R I N G. Okay. He's got one of those doorbells. <laughs> and someone he says Amazon's that there's a, a notification from Ring. And that uh, that K is 
get is this is a message for K. Oh fuck. For K? From K, excuse me. From, from K. K. Oh fuck. Um uh, so I've achieved a strategically um useful position. I try not to laugh at myself when I say that. And I mentioned this under my breath, and I got to try to get to. I, I wanted to disable the missile system. So, am I? What are my options to move? So that? now you're lower. Now you're lower because you lowered it. And so you could kind of do that, you know, like when you're on the swing and you're trying to get going, you're just kind of like, <laughs> kind of rocking back and forth. I do like it. Pushing your Pick legs your out. Yeah, then you bend them. <laughs> <Try to> <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Fine. <laughs> do, am I going to have to roll? Cause I, okay. I, I, am I? Oh, God. Yeah, you got to roll. Oh, fuck. These damn role-playing well, games. Five or better. Uh, yeah. It, I hope to God it's four. Duh. <laughs> I have no points to spend. I have a three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah. So, you start, you start building up some momentum, but it's going to take you a little bit longer. It's gonna take you a little bit longer. To, I, that's to, fine. To get I, I'm just. I'm trying to. Because it's a mainly, cable. It's like a you know, steel cable. Yeah. Mainly, I'm trying to keep my form from flailing. Even though I want to flail and panic, I'm just yeah. trying to be as use you know and, and create as as little motion in their periphery as possible. Yeah. And also, I hope and I you can hear the like the splashes. You you start to you start to realize you're low enough. You start to hear the splashes of the water against the pillars. I think to myself, and you realize you're looking like <laughs> how the open fucking ocean below you. I literally am thinking to myself right now, in this moment of self self loathing, how how good two lungs full of that water would feel. I just I want to die. I'm just all right. I got this. Johnny is going to be so pissed. At... <laughs> I just swim. give me one more roll. Oh fuck! One it. more roll. Uh, if you make it, then you'll be able to build enough momentum to get onto. If I don't, please tell me I can just it. hang there like a jackass. And so... <laughs> it, if you don't, then you're going to be trapped on the game. Okay. Oh, oh, please tell me there's no penalty. I got to. Yeah. Fight. All right. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. You sit there. You sit there like some special Ed Cirque du Soleil, and you're, just like, <laughs> you're kind of rocking back and forth. Special and you, like, you remember Ed back, Cirque like, du Soleil. Oh, that's good. And, and so you swing over, you swing over, and you like manage to grab a hold of the railing. All right. And climb and climb up over the railing. <coughs> but because you were lower, missile system. Because you were lower, the cable swings farther. So instead of being at the entry point, you were all the way over to the SAM site. This is totally my plan. I don't say any. I just, they probably hear like a little on the calm because I'm not smart about turning stuff off. <clears throat> sort of sound. But, uh, are you, are you okay? Evan and I look at each other like, what the hell's going on? I've just, uh, uh, Evan, mm. Evan, are you okay? Yep, Check fine. in. No, nope, prostate. Over. It's fine. No, nope, doc, it's fine. We talked about this. I, I've got it. I am going to, I'm going to creep to that fucking missile system and. I hope we don't have to use it, but I'm going to make it so that it's not usable. By okay. way of, I don't know how, just unplugging shit or whatever I, I, I can do. Yeah, you just like pop open the pop open the electronic panel and just start fucking unplugging shit. I, yeah, I try to I, um, I try to look for like a critical part just to unplug one thing. So if Johnny's like, yeah, hey, mechanics. they're escaping. I do. Four, yeah. I have four. Yeah. Yeah, you have no, yeah, yeah, you have you have definitely some skills. Yeah, well, make a roll Tesla, to though. disable it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna spend because we know how I roll, so I'm gonna spend probably three here, just because. Yeah. And smart. I rolled a one. I don't know if that's a critical failure. Oh, nice! With the three point spend. Yes, gets me four. We'll but get you there. I don't. It will okay. Get you four. I for, I, Four okay. is enough to grab the, grab some fancy looking components and pull them out. You put like this little handful of like computer chip pockets or computer chips in your pocket. They have their like, very yeah, own like Murdoch like from like the A team. Yeah, <laughs> like if Murdoch was something like, British. 
British, yeah. yeah. A British special ed Murdoch. I've disabled the <laughs> I've disabled the SAM, so we should be safe on the egress. I mentioned and I'm way out of breath. All right, like we should be <laughs> fine. We should be fine. Uh, <laughs> I've killed two people, almost three, and I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Why are you breathing so heavy? Why are you breathing so heavy? <laughs> All right, so uh, the doctor, uh, Tesla, and Johnny are behind Red Lily, I guess, on the lower deck. We all hear the breathing and everything like that. Yeah. And I just hold my microphone and I go, it's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's so, so from there, yeah, you know, from there so you go back out. You go to the stairwell. Then you know your mic is hot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she thinks it's like that. <laughs> like, Robin, what happened? Where's the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, doorway down or, or doorway or stairwell down? Doorway. Doorway? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, the doorway opens up, goes into a small hallway, and there is a metal door. Like, it looks like two metal doors that are shut. And they're kind of like, in it looks like an elevator. Oh. I go, like, Listen, it's an elevator. Is there a control panel? Uh, there is just a, a button switch there. It just has one button. Might still hear something, but you don't have to so listen. As much fun as I'm having, I'm going to have to go it off soon. Yep. I work very We're good. Annoying. We're going to wrap it up here pretty quick. So. Oh, oh, yeah. wow, it's midnight, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I, I got to say, that, that whole thing with Evan was very entertaining. I just have to. Oh, yeah. I didn't, yeah. didn't want to interrupt that. So. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Do we want to stop here while we're still all still alive, or? <laughs> well, let's let's get to the reveal at the bottom of the elevator. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh man, I really the reveal at the bottom of the elevator. Can we resolve that we're going to leave Evan just hanging on that cable until next for, time for eternity? <laughs> yeah, eternity. Oh. He's just going to be hanging there. We're just leaving there till next time yeah, <laughs> on yeah, the yeah, cable. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like yeah. he, he 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 was such a good guy that Evan. <laughs> hey, whatever happened to him? I don't even know. Like seven years later, he's still down there. He's got a giant beard, but he's still. <laughs> um, I, I hey, motion. So we'll go down the elevator. I motion. <laughs> I mean, do you want to push the button? I motion. We should just go down the stairs. Why would you use the elevator? Yeah, I would. I would <laughs> That's let's, take, let's take the stairs. Okay. We, stairs, we thanks. Okay. Stairs. All right. So you go down the stairs, and uh, the stairs uh, looks like it opens on the other side of where the elevator would be. Um, and it is a barracks. You see, there's like six bunk beds in here and a variety of uh, personnel, equipment, and so forth. Are any of the bears home? Uh, there's no one in there. Okay. Hmm. No, one in the, no one in the barracks. I mean, uh, so we've taken out three soldiers. We know there's at least three more upstairs, so that makes sense. Right. Well, you know, you got three upstairs, you've taken out three. And in addition to that, so that's that's half of the of the amount of people that they said were here. Oh yeah, personal right. compliment. So I, I look at Lily and I say, shouldn't there be a big reveal here? <laughs> well, no, because you guys were supposed to go down the elevator. You went downstairs. Okay. And no. Oh, that's just it's Lisa a, barracks. So right. There is, there is something uh, beyond the elevator. Is there another flight down or no? No, this is where the this is the bottom floor. Right, so um, we are taking the elevator down. Yeah, I think we are. I Evan, say, you might want to come down. No, the elevator comes down to this level. Like, you uh, the stairwell down to the same level as the elevator goes down. So if we call it, there may be people on it? No, doubtful. Doubtful. Right. So we'll say that you round the corner to look where the elevator is. Okay. And the elevator opens, and stepping out of the elevator... No. Is the sorceress. Oh. And she locks eyes with Lily for a What's brief up? moment. Oh, for you're a doing brief it, moment. I can put baby. my hand between her eyes and his. I'm like, no, no mojo. <laughs> and, 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 and the camera fades to black. Oh, right. 